We haven't for a while. I mean, there is allegations. What's the dude's name? From he was also. We're we're live now, but we're Balky. guessing hey, hey, hey. No, the we're... guy who played Balky. The guy who played Balky, Bronson known Pinchot? pedophile. Bronson Pinchot? Pinchot. I don't think Bronson he's a pedophile. Pinchot? Well, I was Pinchot. gonna say a name, and then Nate came out with the name like that. So I mean. <laughs> of his deeds but he definitely has some deeds that that motherfucker just looks you know even when he was balky you're like deeds. i don't know dude he, yeah, he, he went to one of those he went to yale man guys. like he was the langolier he wasn't the langoliers he's the, he's like the sickly weirdo guy who's working for the langoliers the unabomber went to harvard <laughs> yeah yeah well, <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm not saying dead. dude George W. Bush also went to Yale. I'm I'm not saying that it, that's that's where makes he learned any better to consolidate his bombing into one overall bombing theory. Are These we are live? The anyway? Yeah, I said we I'm were. Sure. These are the I'm facts sure you learned <laughs> when you tune in to Werewolf Radar. Sam's got Ladies butter. We got Unibutter Unibomber facts. The the Unib the Unibutter Sam's been Unibutter working facts. On. Dude, it's, it's horseradish, but it his, looks like human character. seed. <laughs> it <God>. sucks. <laughs> I was gonna say it looks like ash oil, but now it doesn't. Yeah. No. Um. Oof. Welcome to Steak Night, uh, where we play Curse of Strahd 5e with comedians. My name's Jordan Dahl, and I play Clunge the Paladin. I am. Hey, I'm Baldwin, Sam Talent. Everyone. Oh. Great, just step on my fucking toes. <laughs> you holy motherfucker. Go ahead. No, 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 you, now. All right, hey, it's me, Sam Talent, friend of Nate Balding, uh, a man who takes initiative, doesn't wait to be told what to do, and I play Chombo Uatua, the Surf Sup Druid. And I'm Wikipedia Mauve. Yeah, I'm that's him. the bad Dr. Joe Jack. Wizard cleric, and I am everyone else. All the baddies, all, all the guys trying to kill all these the four. big toughies. All Sometimes the, the goodies too. You played That's some goodies true. with us. Yeah, I mean, I guess you're right. Yeah, and they were I immediately to, fleeced by our characters. I get to roll against <laughs> myself for That's five minutes they, at a time. That's what they got for showing any sort of any sort of softness, weakness. We said. We said. And we took their money from them. We took um, so much. Recap. But hell so yeah! Much. Welcome to welcome to Steak Night. Well, we're go, are we gonna roll the uh, the intro song or we, do we just recap? Oh, it? In, we intro did songs already. already already done. Man. It happened. That's, that's we cool. did it. Um, what Wait, happened last too tight? time? <laughs> Never. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's get into the recap. Uh, not not a lot to talk about. You guys just rolled. Uh, a, uh, a carnival wagon, essentially. Uh, you uh, found said carnival wagon and, uh, and went in and tried to uh, find some stuff. First, you let out a tiger. Yeah, we and did. And I tried to seduce the tiger. Chombo tried to seduce the tiger, yeah. Uh, surprisingly, the tiger, as you let it out, did not attack you, just sort of stalked around and uh, tried to figure some stuff out. You uh, eventually got into the front of the carnival wagon and found a bunch of stuff, a cache of what could uh, only be described as uh, as vampire hunting items. So very lucky. One of those items happened to be the, the sun sword, uh, which uh, is a very powerful weapon and will help you on your cause. And uh, it gave each of you a, a level up. So we're, we're all level five now, kids. Level oh, yeah. five. Uh, you then busted out of the town of Blakey as fast as you possibly could uh, and made your way. If you're looking at roll 20, you decided to camp off the road in this area right here. Let me Spread. do that ping again. Fingers. Oh. Yes. There it goes. Right there. I love how we're also just full, like, evil party. There were so many ways to go, go no, against that. No, that is not that. true. That is we, not true. We could have talked to someone. We could have... Chaotic like, good. <laughs> I would yeah, it's say. not we, Pigman. You just fucking raised hell, and we I'm can, not going to boss yeah. you around. Well, we get I shit done. We'll see, but I don't remember raising hell. You robbed a bunch of innkeepers evil. and then stole the cart blind. 
Me and Nate. <laughs> Which is something that a neutral person would do. Me and Nate <laughs> bartered remember, our way to success. Remember when exactly. that like wine tavern guy didn't have any of his livelihood and you were like, okay, we'll help you, but give us every <laughs> scrap of everything you have. <laughs> you extorted a needy man. Yes. No, yes. no, we're the face of capitalism in Barovia. Yeah. All right, kids. Well, so <laughs> you know where you are. Uh, you uh, are are on a mission. Uh, I ask you, team of adventurers, what would you like to do? Oh, Plunge is uh, messing around with the sun sword, turning it on and off. <laughs> <laughs> He's fucking burning, bur singed his eyebrows off. Please, Plunge. I'm trying to sleep over here. Yeah. He's I I am all about it. Carve up a new face for yourself, buddy. <laughs> so we sort of ended uh, with you guys. Trombo's camping. working on yo-yo tricks. Holy shit! I yeah. saw a kid on fucking something Instagram, uh, Reddit, TikTok. You can say something. you're on TikTok. I am. Yeah, too. you're on TikTok. Doing... Oh, I'm there. I I don't. It's. I'll make the TikToks. It's I don't like watching are. it. It upsets me. <laughs> uh, it's too much. There's too much voiceover happening. But I saw a kid doing yo-yo today at a level that um, infuriated me. Like, was he like bonkers. doing Age spin? Was that like all the tricks, juggling yo-go's like, while shooting yo-go's? <laughs> yo-go's like, are not what they're called. My man was throwing yo-go's. My man was. The, he he would let go of the yo-go and catch yep. it again. Stop. And, uh, Wait. Yeah, and it was mid spin. I'll find it for you. Okay, it was, that's I, for later. I saw it, and I never had an aspiration to be like a yo-yo champion. But now <laughs> yeah, I, right. Now Dude, I, you have <laughs> aspirational yo-yo champion written all over you. Yeah, I was gonna say. Since then, <laughs> since you saw that video, you have a champion headband. Quit lying yeah. to yourself and everyone okay. else. But now, I, now that I know what is required, I just I see how far beyond my reach it always was, and it's. It, you, you know, like it's shown a light on a tropic this morning. <laughs> Which I can only assume is the exact conversation we're having while hiding from the people of Val Valaki. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, I will say for the sake of expedience that uh, you guys camped, uh, that you took watch, uh, and that your watch ended uh, without anything. You can all take a long rest, which you should probably all have anyway because you leveled up. Done so it. just in case, yes. if you haven't pressed that, then take your Jordan also rest. attuned with that sword, I believe. I did. Yep. Correct, did. yeah. You would, have, you would have had time to do that for sure. And now that you see, that you see him kind of uh, turning it on and off, the sun, the sun sword itself is not kind of the bright, hopeful light of a dawn. It is the dark, cold sun. <laughs> perhaps that would hang over the shadow fell. It's the domain of the Raven Queen. So, uh, <laughs> good. Uh, nice monologue. Uh, yeah, end, I liked it. End prose. <laughs> Where are you headed to next, kids? Where are we headed to? Let's next? go south. All right, I say, yep, we could go south into the mountain. We have plenty of supplies for both mountain climbing and vampire hunting. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love that. We we learned earlier that this is the path to one of the fortunes that we were that the the old lady gave us. Correct. Believe. Yeah. Uh, this would be the path to uh, try and get to the Solinka Pass. Solinka Pass. Cool. I'm into it. I love it. Let's cool. do that. Uh, what is the marching Excuse order? Me. What order are you guys walking in? Who's got the eyes? I'm pretty good, I guess. I cover the rear. <laughs> yeah, I Go. think I think I'm first. Okay, clunge out front, then uh, then Chumbo. Uh, can I? Let's put my uh, closet a hundred feet ahead of us. Um, Ooh, is I that like something that. you have to summon over and over? No, it's just is until it isn't that's the chain okay. baby you will Got never so the uh chain. clunge then chombo then wiki then dr jojack in the back yes so. okay perfect so um as we make our way through 
uh, this. Whoever is in the front, I need a perception check. Yo, that's me. There's Give me a well, perception uh, check. Technically, oh, and I need Plinko. Oh, it is Plinko. You're right. <laughs> yeah, Plinko. I have, add, I have to add Plinko to. Wow, Plinko rolled very poor. Oh, it. my perception is fuck all. Why did I think I had decent perception? I think it's... I could step up next to you and. Well, no, I can't. Yeah, we already yeah, made our we... bed. Yeah, no, you're right. You're right. You're right. Okay, I rolled. Plinko shit the bed. I rolled a three. <laughs> a three. Oh One better than God. Plinko. <laughs> yeah. Wow. I a two. All right. Oh, so God. You guys are, still, are traveling along. I'm just still along. fucking with the sword. <laughs> Blinko was watching that um, yo-yo video. So I'm going to reveal some areas to you guys. I'm going to let you kind of see where you're going. So you are traveling this way, and I'm just going to start unlocking some of this. Um, oh, and I need to check, damn it, travel times. Fucking forgot already. Steak night, travel time. I mean, that's probably an hour, hour and a half. Oh, I, I want to know the entire, uh, like, how long it's going to take you to get to the Pass. I'll play a little it's the only thing I didn't have open. You, don't you have an instrument? Okay, so... Two and a half hours uh, is how long it will take this mountain journey from where you guys were to get all the way there. So, uh, in the first beginning part of this, we'll say uh, you guys kind of make it uh, without any problems until you get to about here. So this is where everything starts to switch back, uh, and uh, you can kind of see uh, the way the road starts to curve around. Um, it, it does begin to get a little treacherous, so if you want to look at my ping right here, this is kind of where the road starts to curve and then move the other way, and you can see there are some things. So um, you guys are going to have to start to kind of walk single file uh, along this edge. Uh, and I need everyone uh, to make, let's do just a straight dex check. Also, everyone, uh, is everyone, everyone bought clothes, right? Like we all, you all have oh, yeah. warm clothes, you all have, okay. So as you get into this part of the mountain, it does start to get much colder as well. Um, so you'll, you'll have to, uh, have to make sure that you're closed well. That's an 18 for me. Good work. 16. Uh, can I have somebody carry me and <laughs> <in> spider climb? <laughs> I rolled... Uh, I mean... I rolled a nat 1. So... <laughs> yeah, can so, I get... Uh, <clears throat> Rough. I'm little statured. Can I also get a boost? <laughs> uh, do you have a point of inspiration, Roger? I'm not sure that you do. I don't no, you I'm losing it. my Defense. faith. Okay. Um. So yeah, uh, it, this isn't a super sheer cliff, uh, but you do fall, um, and you fall about ten feet. Um. So you take uh. God, one point of falling damage. You lucky bastard! I oh my one. guys, that Whoa. one hurt. Uh, and you are you are prone, and someone is going to have to help you up. Was... Help me! I've fallen. I can't get. Can we get? Can we get some right, amp rope? I, I, no, I, I'm just gonna give Clunge spider climb. Oh, cool. Clunge, help him, then help me across this thing. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah. I will do so. What does spider climb do? You can climb like a spider. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrifying. You just like I walk down the side of this face. Okay, grab great. Roger. Yeah. It's, it's definitely what against Clunch's will. Just spider legs. 
bursting out. No! No! <laughs> My humanity! Um, yeah, okay, I will help him back up using spider climb. I will basically go down and be like, Okay, get onto my shoulders, little little stupid. Oh, Does he get web you. spinners too? Thank you, Plunge. <laughs> no, he, he yes. has uh, the go ahead. process. I do not me. wish to In talk this about the spinneret. <laughs> and spider climb is just a spell that allows him to like walk on walls and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I will say make an athletics check with advantage. I shall. Thank you. You're welcome. Crack attack. Ooh, thank God, because... Oh, God, All a 12. Right. My other one was a, uh, a 1, also a natural 1. Ooh. Lots of... So, yeah, with with Spider Climb, you're able to go down uh, and, uh, and, and grab Roger uh, and pull him back up. Uh, and you guys are now uh, back on your way. Are you carrying Wikipedia, then? Yeah, can I? Can I kind of... Uh... You can. I mean, it'll slow you guys down a little bit. You're, you're at right. speed when you're when you're carrying somebody. Although spider climb sort of evens that out, so I'll say, I'll say we'll 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 even that out for this. Okay, great. Okay. So um, as you continue, uh, somebody else make a somebody make a perception check. Not it. Uh, I have pretty good perception, I think. Right, here's uh, Plinko's. It's going to be a 10 plus, plus. something. Uh, oh, just a 10. I rolled a 12. Right. Cool. So yeah, you can start to see uh, that it does get pretty dicey around here, and it's also getting very cold. Uh, if you guys were not bundled up, you would all be uh, taking points of exhaustion right now uh, because it is freezing, freezing cold. Um, so, uh, I don't really know what that is. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm bundled. Poor I'm a little plunge. big in a blanket. It doesn't sound so, right. As you get closer and closer, I heard that roll. Did you? Good. Uh, <laughs> as you get uh, closer and closer here, are you guys still in the uh, same order? Yeah, I think so. Well, yeah, but I'm I'm probably a little bit shoulders. dazed. Yeah, Plunge is wearing Roger like a toupee. Shoulders. No, 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 Nate. <laughs> but like a toupee, yes. Like a toupee for sure. Uh, did you so? Did you have Quasit out front then? Yes. Yeah, he's a hundred okay. feet in front of me all the time. A hundred feet in front of you? Hundred feet, yes. Okay. Hold on just a sec. So, I'm oh, wow. Whee! Way up here. So I changed the roll twenty. You guys want to look at that? Yes. Man, these maps are fucking rad. They're, They're beautiful. Really if we really actually cool. explored it. They're pretty nice. Um, I don't see, see anything on roll twenty. Here. Wait. Uh, oh, go go down. Yeah, I, do. I got yeah. it. I got it. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 black, but yeah, you're you're only at the bottom. Wow, that's nice. Awesome. Get out there, closet. Plingo oh, yeah. for the win. Hundred. What is uh, Quasit's uh, passive perception? Uh, I guess it would be ten. He's got a ten okay. ways. Okay. Cool. And he can't, you want him 100 feet in front of you, you say? Uh, unless there's some reason he can't be, yeah. No, that's fine. Um, so with this map, as you guys are uh, walking along and Quasit is here, um, Sam, I need you to make a strength saving throw. Strength, okay. Where the hell is strength? Oh, there it is. Can I guide myself first, or is this like a whoopsie daisy? Oh, you gotta uh, guide yourself. This is this is a bit of a whoopsie daisy. This it's is uh, coming out of nowhere. Here we go. Uh, did it roll? Wait, I clicked on it. Here. Um. Oh, there, there we go. That's a sixteen, brother. Ah, oh, you lucky son of a bitch. Okay, <laughs> so. Uh... <laughs> 
as you about as, it. as as you are walking along um you can see the road ahead is cut out of the mountainside rising steeply to one side and falling away on the other uh, mist and snow greatly reduce your visibility and the howling wind cuts through you like a knife uh you don't see it until the last moment uh but a nine foot goat uh what shows up oh. right over here and charges you he he hits you, uh, and had you rolled less than a thirteen, he would have knocked you off of this cliff. Um, but because oh. you made your save, he does not do that. Uh, hold on. Where is this crumb bomb? <laughs> oh, He's right there. Whoa. Is this a dire goat? Not a dire goat, no. Uh, so he runs in uh, and and charges you and hits you. Uh, he did hit you though, so that is two d four. I use my reaction, or is this a surprise round? This is a surprise. Yeah, you didn't see him. None of you have enough passive perception to see him. Yeah, uh, and he yeah, blends yeah. in with the with the Big hills there. Um, so uh, Sam, you take uh, six points of uh, of bludgeoning damage. Oh. And I need you all to roll initiative. That's fine. I'm gonna murder this fucking goat. Really? Yeah. Too bad I can't. Beast no charm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my initiative roll was. Zero. You probably can. Ow. No, he's not. He's not friendly towards me. What happened, Nate? I rolled a one and I have a negative one initiative. <laughs> Stop. Did you just roll a nothing? I didn't know that was possible. I ha I rolled a 10. Uh, hold on. So 20 yeah, yeah. to 25? 15 to 20? Wait, wait, wait. I haven't rolled yet. I've, oh, go ahead. I'm rolling for initiative? Yeah, correct. Okay, so I'm just going to roll a 20, right? Uh, yeah, you'll have your initiative on, is on plus your two. In D and D Beyond, right next to the armor class, you'll see there's an initiative button. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Here we go. Hell yeah! All right. Ooh, I rolled. Uh, did you get fifteen to twenty? I got fifteen. Perfect. So fifteen, Chombo. Ten to fifteen. Ten. Okay, ten for Wiki. Um, and then Joe five Jack. to ten for Joe Jack. Or sorry for Joe Jack, my bad. Eight, eight for Clunge. Eight for the Clungester. And then Wiki's at the end. Zero. <laughs> okay. Crazy. Um. So the uh the goat rolled uh an eighteen. So what he's going to do? Come on, this goat. Um, his speed is. 40 feet, so he is going Fucking to goat is clowning us, man. back up uh, 10, 20 feet, and then he's going to try and ram again. Uh, what? And so... Try it. Yeah, he is, and he's going to go for Clunge this time, because Clunge is in the front. Come, Come at me! Uh, that is not going to hit. That's a uh, 14. No way. Jose. Yeah, I know. Your, uh, your armor class is way up there. Okay, so uh, he tries to ram you and is now directly in front of you, and that brings up Chombo. Chombo! Right. Chombo. Uh, would you say that this is loose earth, loose earth or stone? Uh, beneath you? Yeah. Oh, so I'm if, you look, if you look to the side of you, right. you are on a very very like steep area like you're on this this small piece of the of the land right here um on each side of you is a hundred foot like if you if this goat would have hit you you, you would have fallen a hundred feet and taken 10 d6 bludgeoning Good damage God. um yeah so he would have killed me <laughs> he would've, possibly, probably not possibly i could have uh, uh, resurrected um, you stabilized you but it would have took a while to get to you so yeah. it's a it's a very small area. You're up on a really tall cliff. Um, so yeah, there the, it's definitely rocks and and gravel. Okay. Well, can't bond with this beast because he's pissed. He's got shiny red eyes. Uh, he is a Ugh. nine foot goat. Hell goat. Take his shiny All red right. eyes out of his fucking head. Yeah, I don't want this thing running around and ramming us. I'm gonna earthbind <laughs> the goat. 
Nice. Oh, okay. Uh, is that a save? Uh, it's a spell. Oh uh, no, wait. Earthbind's the one that uh that is for flying oh, creatures, right? Hmm. Yeah. yeah. Do you have a hold beast or something? No, I have summon beast. I have. Dominate beast. I have beast enthusiast. <laughs> uh, uh, all right, dude. Well, I don't want to do that. I have all these new spells, and they're all you pure might be, evil. Can you like the, mold the earth into something to trip it up? No, man. That fucking earth moving one I had just like made a hill five feet tall. Yeah. It's a goat. <laughs> I don't okay, think. That's fair. Uh, the yeah. goat'll be fine. Yeah, it's a goat yeah. that can climb giant cliffs. Yeah, so. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just gonna uh, slap on Shillelagh. There you go. Nice. Bonus action, Shillelagh. All right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna uh, go up here, and I'm going to attack it with my blood spear, which demands uh, to be slaked. Please do. Okay. So I roll for an attack, right? Yep. All right. Ah, damn it. Where's the attack at? So next to your blood spear, it'll say hit DC plus six. Just push that button. Okay. Blood spear. Inventory. Uh, uh, you can do also it in your action. actions. Yeah, in your actions, it'll have the actual inventory. will just show. Like oh, the, okay. Here we go. That's a twenty-five. Ooh, that, oh, definitely. That's a crit? Is that a crit? Is that a twenty? No, because it's plus six. So okay. it was a nineteen. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That hits. Roll damage. All right. So, do I roll piercing or do I do one d three plus three or one d six plus three? One d six plus three. Yeah. The, I think the d eight is uh, if you throw it. Yeah. It, no, it's okay. if you kill someone. Oh, that's right. If you kill it. But you can't throw. It. Oh, oh no no. no, no. It, and it also does a d eight if you throw someone. Yeah, throw it's thrown. It. Yeah. If you kill it, it gives you hit points back. Yeah. 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 Well, that's uh, six. You, six, so just... six points of damage. Yeah, I think so. Perfect. Okay. Also, <laughs> I'm looking at your spells, Chombo. You have, um, uh, what is it? Earthquake? Earth Tremor that might do it. That brings up Jojack. That was the plan with Earth Tremor. But, but it's a third level spell. Right. And you only have two of those. All right. I have all sorts of new spells too. I got some uh, counter goat. Got all sorts of spells. Let's uh. I assume this goat isn't wise, or is this one of them riddle solving goats? I am not going to tell you its stats. Let's right, get a riddle. <laughs> 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 I will cast a toll the dead on it. What Ooh. The fuck? Oh, the dead. A giant yeah. bell appears above his head and just... Oh. Yeah, my eyes glow black. A giant save. bell forms above the goat, and the goat must save against 13 wisdoms. Check. A 13 wisdom. Okay. Stop. That is a six, so that is a nice. failure. Excellent. Yeah. Then I roll... Don't get out of there. Get out of there. Okay. 2d8. Nice. 6 plus 4 is 10. 10. And that's awesome. just a necromancy cantrip. Yeah. Told the dead is rad. It's a new one, huh? All right. And then uh, I move uh, kind of right behind Plunge. Okay. There Get we behind go. Plunge. Speaking I'm behind plunge, you. That, I'll, I'll add that, support. That brings up Plunge. That brings up Plunge. I have not been thinking about what I was going to do. I'm sorry. I'm not even on my fucking character. <laughs> looking at Sam's character. I was. Looking at those spells. Got some pretty cool spells. You got some pretty some cool stuff. stuff. You got that sword blade, buddy. Everyone's right. got some rad stuff. But I'll tell now. you what. That sword, uh, it doesn't do plus 10 damage to goats. <laughs> 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 or does it? You know, this might be an undead goat. Who knows? Uh, man, I got a lot of rad shit now. What crazy. Cool. Far out. Okay. 
Uh, in that case, I cast Hunter's Mark on the goat. Cacast. Cacast. And okay. I attack it with the Sunblade. Sunsword. The Sunblade. Do ahead. it, Clunge. Strike it down with all your hate. For crack. Oh. Ah, I it was going to be bad. 11 to hit. 11 is its D, or is its AC, so that hits. Oh. 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 Okay, far out. Seven radiant damage. Oh my. Radiant damage? What is that? Just like a holy burn across the, its place? He used the face? sword. He used the sword. Nice. Uh, and then does, does that have your extra d6 when, uh, for your uh, for your hunter's mark? Oh no, I did not do that. Sorry. Thank yeah, you. I forgot my shillelagh damage God. on mine. Oh really? What would your what your shillelagh would have added? Uh, I don't know. Plus five, I think. Uh, well, no, that's plus five to hit. Oh, okay. Uh, that was a six on the hunter's mark, so Total 15 love. damage. Uh, how do you want to do this? Ooh, God. Dead. <laughs> dead. First of all, Damn, I thought undead? this was a lot tougher for being a nine Was it foot undead? Tall, Did it react at all to the, uh, the undead properties of the sword? Uh, it did not. Um, but, uh, it is, uh, it, it did not have a lot of hit points. Okay, sure, sure, sure. Okay, yeah, I think, um, Clunge goes up and, set, like, has some kind of goat pun in his mouth. And he's like, say hello to the graph, or whatever, and, like, goes to swing it, but beheads this thing with the sword, and it's just like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, I'm sorry, oh, I killed it, oh, oh, crap. Don't want to do not so greatest of all time. <laughs> yes, that one. You could have done like a barbacoa thing too. Sure, sure. A lot, all of these. There are multiple timelines in which Clunge nails this one liner, but in this one, he gets halfway through it and he uh, de he so the, de heads this thing the what, with a, a a holy lightsaber. Holy awesome. saber. Holy right. saber. Mm -hmm. You guys want to do uh, on the mountainside? <laughs> yeah. Anything else uh, before you continue on your way? Let me heal uh, Chombo with this healer's kit. We still. Okay. Mm, a... You're a no. cleric, but sure, use the healer's no, no. kit. I'm not gonna use a spell. <laughs> That's for no, war. No. That is a good point. No, no. No, I mean, no. never mind. I'm gonna. I'm not telling you what to do. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that it before you're pressing on? Yeah, I just want to uh, heal up Chombo. He took the most damage. Should I roll like a medicine check to or fun? Well, I think technically the way that you would do it is we would take a short rest and Chombo would re-roll some hit die. Okay. Or you would expend a spell slot. No, I don't want to expend a spell slot. This is just the beginning of the adventure. Sure. Hey, let me move, man. Sure. I'm okay. Okay. Okay, no. Okay. Let's keep going. Sorry, I just I just wanted to be a doctor. I appreciate <laughs> it. I hand you the goat's genitals as a sign of thank you. Ooh. Uh, you cut you cut up the goat? Thank you. Oh yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Do I mean, you know, trail butcher it. Sure. We take yeah, the we genitals do. and the, <laughs> the, horn. the kidneys and the heart and the horns. Okay. Can I Ooh. just have Plinko fly up the entire side of this hill. Yeah, so, um, <laughs> as you guys are... <laughs> as you guys are moving, I, I just want to reveal uh, everything else to us. Yep, yeah, yeah. Uh, and that will happen right now. So, uh, as you guys are moving, uh, you cross this corner, uh, and you see the goat, uh, and what becomes visible to you, I will reveal the side view here. Oh. Is... Oh. A uh, very large, oh. uh, you can sort of see here, um, a uh, giant. So you can see from the side, you're walking up. There's uh, this area right here um, is a giant gate. 
uh, and then you've got some giant gargoyles that are up here. You can sort of see over here is the top view of that. Uh, and see, as yeah, as you pull up um, through the wind and snow, you see a high wall of black stone lined with spikes and topped by statues of demonic vultures with horned heads. Set in the center of the wall is a closed iron portcullis behind which burns a curtain of green flame. On the other side of the dark wall, gripping the mountain's edge, is a guard tower of white stone topped by golden statues of mighty warriors. Can I roll uh, with can send Plinko to investigate all of this? Uh, yeah, where, where, are you, where are you sending? Uh, over the top? And just... Over the top? Yeah, yeah. Hundreds over the top of the, uh... of the towers? Yeah. Okay. Um, and as you do that, letting us know what else is over there. As you do that, both of the gargoyles no. become alive. Uh, and I need everyone to roll in. Yart. Well, I'm up I imagine, front. <laughs> I imagine Plinko is. Well, I imagine Plinko's up front. I mean, I moved my character up. I was enthralled with the arcane right, but, fire, so I'm right, right here. Plinko was 20. going up over the top. Oh yeah, he's yeah, Plink, closer. Plinko was definitely well. He went over the top. That's kind of what uh, what made these right. giant V rock statues come to life. So just to be clear, these uh, these diagrams on the left and the right, these are both different images of what we're seeing here. Of what Correct. we're seeing in front of us. Sorry, I'm trying yeah, to Yeah, so and yes. and I will um I will reveal a little bit more because Plinko went over, you guys can actually see. Um, but there is the oh, guard the tower, tower right behind there. it. Yeah, so you can, yeah, you can right. sort of see that piece there. Uh yeah, this is blocking here. This is blocking your way here, right? Like this is the yeah. that, that where the gate is. Um and then the tower is behind it. Yeah. I love so, right. Initiative. Plinko made a stinko. <laughs> I rolled a Plinko 10. Did oh, that's for later. Hold on just a second. Plinko, you did okay. We needed this information. Okay. Were there more subtle I ways to find it? Of course, okay. but that's not us. You should first. Listen, I would rather... I would rather... Do the closet uh -oh. get attacked by two giant gargoyles than any of us. <laughs> Right, because in theory, chase him. we can run up yeah. here. Oh, win these are winged people. You can use that spell, Sam. Oh, that's true. true. <laughs> Earthbind. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, uh, so initiative rolls. Anyone 20 to 25? Oh, yeah, sorry. I forgot to roll. I'm 20. Nice. Chombo, 20. Ooh. Uh, 15 to 20? 17. Nice. One, two, uh, ten to fifteen. Ten. Ten, four. Joe Jack. And Wiki bringing up the rear again, huh? Four. <laughs> Can you imagine how cool this is gonna be when D and D Beyond has like a map system? Oh man, I, I mean, yeah. Gosh, we could do it all in Roll Twenty. We could do character sheets in Roll Twenty, and then we wouldn't really need D and D Beyond. But well, that is what it is. Looking, yeah. So Chombo, um, you uh, the the closet goes uh, over uh, this portcullis, uh, and you see both of these uh, statues uh, turn from stone uh, into flesh. Uh, they are extremely uh, scary flying creatures. Um, but before they can take off, uh, you have the first turn. So please go ahead. All right, man. I'm gonna try and blast their asses. Blast, blast. Uh, blast. I'm gonna tidal wave their dumbasses. Hell yeah. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what that is. How tall? How high up are they? They are. Hmm. 
just like to say, I'm listening to Royalty Free Bossa Nova in the background. That's your move. And it's the the look- gatehouse is 30 feet high, so they're 30 oh. feet off the ground right now. Okay. So I, I could not hit them with that then. Yeah, uh, good, okay, let's see. <laughs> You know what? I don't have to share this. I could listen to the full royalty boss. Yeah, you yeah. can. No one else is listening to it, man. You're good. Yeah. <laughs> All right, me. man. I guess I got to, uh, I guess I got to, like, try and earthbind one of them to the top of the tower. I like that. And also, Jordan, Smokey and Miho. Smokey and Miho, okay. Yeah, that's a Bossa Nova it's album me? you should check out. There you go. See, Roger's listening. Hmm. All right, cool. I'm going to earthbind one of them. Okay. Um, so, yeah, you can absolutely do that. Can Choose you... one creature you see within range. It's a strength save 13. Uh, strength. Ooh, nope. That's a natural 20. Oh no! So that's, that's uh, probably bad. Uh, it just means uh, it it does not it does not work. Yeah, okay. they like they succeeded. Yeah, he you you send the spell out and you see these like yellow ribbons come out, uh, and uh, the the creature just sort of shakes it off. All right. Well, okay. ladies and gentlemen, I see the floor. <laughs> uh, after if Ch- if that's uh, Chombo, then uh, Clunge is up. Okay. Um, Join me up in the front, Clunge. Clunge will do just that. Um, we can't really get up to them right now, can we? They're thirty feet up. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, Clunge is going to run to here. And what is the distance there? What kind of spells am I working with these days? Are these humanoids? Uh, I mean, they... Looks All right, like now we have to debate what a humanoid well, is. I, I say I do yes. want to point out that technically uh, spider climb works for one full hour. Oh, whoa! whoa. So if it does not in an hour, mm, plunge, you might be able to. Yeah, you, you cast your spider climb in the middle of yeah, your walk, and it was okay. a two and a half hour walk, All so right. it, it's 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 been Fair done. Enough. All right, yeah, yeah. These are these are gargoyles. Uh, they're they're not gargoyles. They looked like stone gargoyles. Uh, as soon as Quasit went over uh, the gate, they turned into fleshy giant demon monsters. Whoa, of course. Okay, but they do not ugly people. But they do not. Uh, con- they do not contain the humanoid property. Um, I mean, not so far as you can tell. If you'd like to use your turn to make a history check or an investigation check you can i mean i could do that but that's pretty crazy i think so too (laughs) there's a couple of things that i could do here but most of them will end up taking my my entire turn okay um clunge is going to dash is going to take the dash action. Okay. Like as your action or as your bonus action? Uh, as my, I'm going to use it, my action to move again. Okay. So move <laughs> um, and then move again. Got and it. And then move again. And then as my bonus action, I'm going to uh, cry out some sort of oath in the name of the Raven Queen and mark this one as my hunt, as my quarry. Okay. You will fall this night and awaken in the Shadowfell. He is marked. Yeah, he is. All right, that is going to bring up both of these creatures. Mm-hmm. So the first bring one, on. 
uh, is going to fly up uh, and attack the closet over here because it nice. was the one that moved over the thing. Yeah, uh, it is going to take two attacks. Uh, the first one with its beak. Uh, plus six, that's an 18 to hit. Oh, that definitely hits it and probably kills it. <laughs> uh, that is five is the hit plus he so eight points of damage. One more than it had. All right. So then uh, it go. Only <laughs> 20 feet there. It's got another 40 feet of movement, so it's going to come over here and try and use its claw attack against Clunge. Uh, that's a 21 to hit. That's... Uh, and that's two... Wow, I never use this dice. That is... Nine plus three, so twelve points of damage. Oh, uh, pretty good. Uh, uh, the other one, as it sees uh, the first one go after you, is going to come around and do the same thing. Oh. Come after Clunge. So first with the beak, that is not going to hit. And eleven plus six, seventeen. Nope. That yes. doesn't hit either. All right. Uh, that one, after because uh, it uh, only used partial of its movement, it is going to move away and fly just up a little bit. So it's about uh, 15 feet off the ground. Sucker. And that brings up Dr. Jojack. Clunge, are you hurt? No! He's like kind of holding this horrible wound, but it's looks clearly like... hurt. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like maybe it was gross beforehand. All right, I'm going to move towards the gargoyle. No! Tongue falls out. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to give him the chill touch. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, is that a save? <laughs> no. Nope. seal's gone. <laughs> <laughs> I got... 16 to hit against AC. Uh, that hits. Excellent. Hey. Chill him. Chill him out, brother. Oh, it's necrotic it's damage, actually. Ooh. Necrosis oh, on the cellular level. 13 bro. damage. Six, 16 my eyes, 13 my eyes glow nice. a dark black again, and my finger, which is now black, touches his shoulder. You're doing yeah. black finger? I'm giving him the black finger. Oh, Roger, I thought you weren't doing that anymore. Yeah. I'm doing uh, it again. He's <laughs> trying to bring it back. Yeah, I, I uh, truly can't express. Yeah, but 13 damage to him. The weird tropical music behind. <laughs> uh, okay. I recommend uh, does it. Anything else on your turn, Raj? Oh, that's that's all of it. I don't have too many bonus actions on my character or stuff. Do you have any movement left? I wasn't sure how far you moved. You were. All... I'm. I'm a battle mage, man. I stay up there. Got that it. Was, uh, that was uh, necrotic. I don't know if that matters. Yes. Um. It is necrotic. It doesn't. It doesn't do any uh, extra damage. No. It doesn't do no damage, right? It does not do no damage. No. Good. Oh, it can't regain hit points until the start. Oh, I don't even have to be next to this thing to use Chill Touch. I'm going to just move back a little bit. There you go. Uh, yeah, I mean, can't... if you can use it. There we go. I'm good now. Oh, look at this. It can't uh, It can't heal until the start of Roger's next turn. Oh, wow. Oh, that's that's really why you fun. read. That's why you read, kids. If it's if it was undead, it has some other shit that would happen too. Boy, if we ever come up against some undead, it's uh, it's over for these. Yeah, homes. or a bunch of horses. <laughs> <laughs> Woe unto a bunch of horses. All right, so that brings up Wikipedia. Yeah, are, are they attacking like with weapons? Uh, they are not attacking with weapons. They have a, a beak attack, or at least as far as you've seen so far, uh, they have a beak attack and a talon attack. Uh, 
can I just say the 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 angle where your character is so far away and how scared he looks as a child is perfect. <laughs> he looks like he's horrified by these gargoyles. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm attacking Doctor Jojack. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling punchy. Um. I'm Uncle Unchy. I guess I'll let which blast this closest one. Yeah, sure, the one with the red dot. Yeah, the one that's marked by clunge. Hey, Go hey, ahead. Don't put yourself <laughs> out, brother. Yeah. Thirteen you've got, to hit. You've got two eldritch blasts. Thirteen. Okay. Oh, oh, I do. Yeah, you're uh, five. Did they hit, did they hit separately? You, yes, they do. You you roll for both. Okay. Well, first one was a hit for eight. That does not Second. hit. No, no, no. It, it, 13 for 8 damage. Oh. Oh, no. 13 doesn't hit. Oh. Oh, son of a bitch. I thought it was 11. The uh, goat was okay, 11. Second. Oh, that's right. Uh, second one was a 20 to hit. Nice. That definitely hits. Like a natural 20 or a 20 total? No, 20 total. Uh, for okay. 14 damage. Nice. 14. Good work. Have you played that, uh, just Bowler's one Gate? bolt? Three. No. It's cool. The uh, the Eldritch Blast is a, has a very specific sound. It's very cool. Oh. Wow. All right, Wiki. If that's your turn, that brings up Chombo. I don't know if you think it'll get you. All right, Chombo's going. So this one up here, the one that's furthest away from us. What's his uh -huh. deal? He's flying. Oh, He's currently perfect. 15 feet above the ground. And the other one's just chilling on the ground. Yeah, this one used its uh, its speed or its movement uh, because it attacked Quasit first and then came over to attack Clunch. It didn't have any more movement to get up, so it is currently on the ground next to you guys. Okay, if I cast Earthbind last time and it didn't hit, does that still take up a spell slot? Or does it, it still does. count? It does. Okay. It does. Yeah. Oh, but okay. you can it, cast. It hit him. Damage. He just he just resisted it. I, I rolled a natural twenty. It's unlucky. Yep. 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 Uh, okay. So this thing is a 20-foot cube. All right, cool. I'm going to Erupting Earth this one over here. Oh, that sounds painful. Okay. All right. What is that smell? Let me look at it. Attack save is 13. It's a 20-foot cube. Yeah, you could get them over uh, if you run it. Here, you could get him without getting any of us. Well, I can get that one. I can also get the other one too. Yeah, I thought it was attacking the far one. Because it's a twenty foot. Oh well, cube. that one's in the. That one's. Oh, you're right. Shit. Earth, Earth tremor is what you're doing. No, no. Erupting oh. Earth. Erupting <laughs> Earth. Oh yeah, that's right. 120 feet away. Dex save. Okay. So you you're right. To... This is some kind of fucking crazy. <laughs> Crazy fucking a fountain of Trender Stone erupts at twenty foot. Each creature in that area makes a dex throw. Or is Clunge, Clunge, is Clunge a creature? Yeah, it would he would count as too, it, right? It would, but no, no, no. Because see where I put the box? That would be. I mean, you could get both of them. Right, I could get both of them, but I also get you. Do it. Fuck it. I don't care. No, it's bad, dude. I don't no, want to heal I mean, extra. Yeah, it, Chombo, your instinct is correct. It's a, it's a deck save. Yeah, it's a deck save. Oh, it's a deck save. Okay, yeah. Okay. Pick one of them. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna pick uh I'm gonna pick this one that I guess we've done the most damage. Or this one over here that hasn't been damaged yet. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would right. maybe say pick the one that might be the most dead. Okay. Because it's better to eliminate Be yeah, a target because they don't get weaker. Uh, you know, their okay. their attack doesn't get weaker. But if we eliminate it, that's one less attack. All right, cool. Well, I'm doing this guy over here. Yeah, That's splash right. Splash that mountain all over that motherfucker. I'm going to splash it. the mountain. All right. Uh, that's a uh, 9 plus 2 is 11. So Suck it. Fails. Yes. Fuck yeah. Crazy. Okay, so that's 3d12 bludgeoning damage. Holy Roll shit. <laughs> what level spell uh, what was that? Do? Yeah, that's click, a 3. Click that button. <laughs> all right. Uh, Roll. That's uh, thirteen. Fuck yeah. From from three d twelve. That's right. <laughs> nice. 
Okay. Everyone is going <laughs> off of this one. All right. All right. So uh, yeah, uh, it, it, a giant uh, let's call it Earth eruption uh, yeah. opens up underneath I mean, this uh, this gargoyle. Oh, yeah, and, from uh, from the side it, of the hill. Just it's like a, rocks and earth and just smacks him. It's like a zit exploded on the face of uh, God's creation. Nice. Uh, the area becomes difficult terrain. Difficult terrain. Yeah. It was already difficult terrain. He was flying above like All this. Right, this, uh, but yeah, absolutely. Um, all, right. all right, that brings up Clunge. Great. Um, Finish the job, Clunge. I shall. I strike. Um, the one that's get... next to you. Yeah, I'm wondering if I get. I. I don't. I know you what did are... Hunter's Mark. Do we get advantage? Are we flanking? Um, no, really. because I moved. And it yeah, like he's, it. uh, Jojack is not, uh, in range. Okay, I just want to make sure that I get everything right before swing and miss. Whack his little Advantage lap. on wisdom checks to find it. <laughs> uh, Sweet. that sucks. No, I don't get anything except for extra damage. Okay, I'm gonna whack that guy. Whack. Whack that soldier boy. Crack. Whash. 17 to hit. 17 hits. Great. Whack. Slash, slash. Nine uh, damage plus add an additional your, yeah. three damage, 12 total. Yeah. yeah. All right. Boy. Uh, he definitely reacts. You can see uh, he's taking uh, some damage and uh, he gets uh, yeah. pretty mad. Um, he is going he's to pretty, go... He's pretty mad about him. He's, he's going to go right after you for that one. So, uh, yes. first attack with his beak. Uh, nope, that's a 3 plus 6. That's a 9. Oh, yes. Second attack with the talons is 13 plus 6. That's 19. Oh, no. Barely hits. Ah, uh, uh, you got saucerman. Plus three. Saucer. Oh, that's a shit roll. Uh, that's four plus three, so seven points of damage. Gargoyle yeah, takes that's... a Bud Light out of its back pocket and <laughs> breaks it over your head. It's <laughs> pretty good. And he's going to uh, fly up God, in the air over here. Oh, uh, wait! If he's flying straight up, I get an attack of opportunity. You absolutely do. Go ahead. Yes. Oh, uh, fucking hell. That <laughs> sucked. Oh, don't you tip! Nice. Goddamn. Uh, 14 to hit. Misses. God oh, yeah, damn his AC it. is 16 or 15. Ah! <laughs> fucking hell. It was literally, the dice was 15 and it like. <laughs> oh. <laughs> brutal. Alright, so the down. other V Rock is going to take ah. his turn. How and weak are you, Jordan? He's going to fly. I'm fine for now. I'll pro I mean, I could use some healing. I could use some healing. Over here and. Of the sexual oh. variety? Of the sexual, sexual variety. I have 25. Oh, I'm, not, I'm not exactly uh, 40. bloodied. What was bloodied? Was that when you were below half? Like half, half yeah. yeah. I'm not exactly bloodied yet, but. So this guy is going to come. Remember uh, that? I was kind of okay with that mechanic. Ten feet above Chombo here. Oh. Um, or sorry, five feet above Chombo because that's his range. Uh, and he's going to attack Chombo. So first Just one. With disadvantage because Chombo is within five feet of me. I'm also short. Chombo's not within five feet of you. He, each square is ten feet. Yeah, on the this map's map. a lot longer on this one. Oh jeez. Uh, that doesn't matter. Feet. That's a. That's a 12 to hit. I'm 12. That's your AC. Oh, Armor class is 12. Yep, okay. Um, so that's uh, nine points of damage. Great. And then talons, that's not gonna hit. That's a, nice. that's a three what? plus six. That's a god damn. I've got uh, that extra attack now. Ooh, well, you'll remember next time. For sure. Uh, that brings up Dr. Jojack, and this guy is currently just 
kind of flying above Chombo. He is still uh, in melee range. He's like five foot. Does that mean I get to blast him because he's over my head? Uh, no, if he moves out of your melee, then you get an opportunity. So I'm going to kind of gauge Chombo and and uh, Clunge. Clunge says he doesn't particularly need heating, healing. How's Chombo? Uh, you know, I've had more iry afternoons. <laughs> you know, right. it's definitely not like I got... It's not like a paddle boarding soreness, you know? I'm familiar. I'm familiar. I feel like you should just blast that ass, though. I'm at I'm 28 out of 43. I'm going to go full... Full, full, uh, full metal jacket. I'm gonna cast Inflict Wounds, level three. Ooh. Inflict a wound or two. Ooh. Oh, 17 to hit. Yes. 17 hits. Excellent. Now I roll 5d10. Oh my god. That is insane. Yeah, Inflict Wounds at high levels. Death Clerics are fucking bonkers, dude. Yeah. Thirty. Good God. <laughs> so my eyes once again glow full black, and I touch him with my black finger on the shoulder gently. The bad finger. Whew. <laughs> uh, all right, that brings up Wikipedia Mob. It lives. Uh, <laughs> it yeah, yet it lives. lives. Uh, they're they're both uh, close in hit points, but they're they're not even near dead. Fucking hell. Yeah, we gotta well, focus on one. In that case, let's uh, move up here. The one was doing and good, and then Roger did that, and I'm, and that hurt him. I'm yeah, gonna witch bolt this boy. Which one? The one close to, closest to you? Yes. Let's go ahead. One of I can hit, but it's... Oh, natural twenty! Oh, oh. oh. here comes. 6d12. Yes! Oh, God. Whoa. Do it. Try and roll more than a 13, like me. Try and roll more than a 30. 29. Okay, pretty that's, good. That's doubled, right? Is that all six? Or is that with the crit? Uh, I believe that's... Oh, wait. No, that was just the one roll. Yeah, uh, you, so... you get to roll another... another... It, if you what? did it on D&D Beyond, though, it should crit it for you. Yeah, no, it should be crit 29. Okay. Got it. Yeah. So yeah, the crit, crit, Good the crit damage is 29, Good. but then you also get an additional uh, Eldritch Blast. Yeah. Well, that was a Witch Bolt. It was a oh, Witch Bolt. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Great. So, now so, just, so as oh. long as uh, this thing doesn't move, I get to keep hitting it with that. Wait. Nice. Nice. So it took All right. 59 damage? No, yeah, it took 59 oh, damage wow. from the two of you. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, from the two yes, of you. Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah, it was. It had barely taken any damage, and now it's much lower than the other one. It's, 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 uh, <laughs> it's, it's just much lower. Hurt. It's still pretty cool. And this uh, motherboard that... is going to take three more d12 from me next round. Nice. If it doesn't move? Uh, well, I don't know if it... I assume... I assume that if it leaves I'll look the at range, it. Shombo, you are up. Not, uh... I could try and earthbind it if it needs to not move. Yeah, if it doesn't move, that would be best if that's what it reads. And then bam. Oh, I think I just keep hitting it. Beam of clack, no matter where it blue goes. energy. The target make a range spell attack. Oh, yeah, so you can continue. Yeah, you can continue to hit it. Yeah, yeah, like on each of your turns for the duration, you can use your action to deal 1d12 lightning. So, yeah, it's you're just like holding lightning on it right now. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Nate. My character is now frightened of Wikipedia. All right, yeah. It was fun to see Wikipedia move at all during a battle. That was exciting. And the time uh, he does move, it's to cause massive damage. <laughs> okay, well, I feel like it's time to pull out the big guns even more. I'm going to try and uh, cast a tidal wave on this guy up here. 
the one farthest away? Yeah, because I don't know. We're all splitting it around. Yeah, I'm going to cast Tidal Wave up there. Okay. Is that a save? Uh, Dex 13. Dex 13. Okay. What's his dex? All right. Ah, uh, fucking five plus three. That's an eight. Nope, he fails. Okay, Next. it's going to take four D8 bludgeoning damage and be knocked oh, yeah. prone. Hell yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Damn. All right, that's All the right. one in front of me. Yes. Knock yeah. him out, Radical. lunch. That's okay, great. Okay, hold on. Four What's D8. that damage? I'm going to do Coup that. Uh, D8. Sorry. Where are we at? Here we are. Whoop, oh, that's a 12. That's a D8. That's a roll of good god. Fourteen. Nice. Alright. Right. Nice. Pretty good. Okay. He is prone though, and he's an over ten. Clunge, you are up. Hell yeah, great. Uh seeing this opportunity, Clunge uh moves away from uh this guy. But I can't move my well, he's okay. prone. So I get advantage on him? You're gonna yeah, on, on, me on melee attack. Yeah, okay. not on ranged attacks, but on melee. Okay. In that case, uh, yeah, Clunge is just gonna go ape shit on him. <gasps> or with the Sun Sword. Um, maybe I will even... Let's see. Yes, I will use a divine smite. Yeah, fuck yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, um, so yeah. Uh, let's attack. I get advantage, you say? And Correct. Plunge, I want to just, do you, what, is, what, it's, it's, it was a tidal wave that, uh, sure. blasted the beast. But do you happen to notice that it's not in fact water, but it reeks of Hawaiian punch? <laughs> of the green kind? Yeah, the title took the shape of a giant foot of green and just oh, smushed God it. God damn it. It's like a fucking Capri Sun. God damn it. Oh, right. It's so refreshed. That's so cool. Ah! <laughs> um, okay, so... Does 14 hit? 14 misses. 17? 17 hits. Right. Um, so that first one does 12 damage plus. This six. is your the one that's marked. And 18 then you also damage. Did the smite, right? Yeah, the one that's right in front of me. Mm -hmm. uh, that's 18 damage, and I will. Uh, I wonder if I could. Yeah, I'll just expend the spell slot and take the damage now. Uh, and I think it's 2d8. Let's see. For no, Divine fucking, Smite? I know it's super about? nasty, yeah. Divine Smite, when you hit with a melee weapon attack, you can expend a spell slot to deal 2d8 extra radiant damage to the target. Yeah, so as he's doing this, like the fucking, like the sun sword starts to glow with this kind of dark energy, and you see like phantasmal crows picking at pieces of this thing's soul and carrying them off to the other side. Uh, so we're gonna do an additional, <laughs> the crows aren't very good, four damage, so 22 <laughs> damage on that first attack. Nice. Um, let's take another thwack. Ooh, that'll do it, 26, but let's go for the crit, y'all! Missed it. Um, okay. And that's an another 11 damage, so all over Ooh. 33 damage. Uh, does that one also have the six, the D6 for your... Does it mark? now? Let's find out. Let's make sure. Let's I think, any, I think any hit what? after oh, he's I mean, marked. I'm having a power glitch. There it is. You choose a creature. Until the spell ends, you deal an extra 1D6 to target whenever you hit it with a weapon attack, and you have advantage on any wisdom or survival yep. check to find it. Yeah, so great. add a D6 so. to that. So 11 plus a... D6. That's another 4, so 36 damage. Got it. Uh, that one's looking hurt. 
That one is looking hurt. And I am gonna, hurt. I am gonna, since it is prone, I will use my movement to move back over here with these guys, kind of back away from it. Okay. Um, all right. Well, that is your turn. It's now going to be the... What a turn, man. Hat, Hat, dude, those were, that was Paladins, a great round. Paladins get crazy as they get larger. All of these, these past, like, three rounds have been just... Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> so he's half his movement to get up, and then the other half of his movement to come over here, and the only one he can get in melee with is Clunge. Um, so first attack is a 6 plus 6 is 12, that's going to miss. That is a 12 plus 6, that's an 18. That matches. Ah. Nice. Um, so that is his Talon. Uh, now, what kind of damage is that? Uh, slashing damage. Okay. Oh. Uh, so that's... 11 points of slashing damage. Okay, one second. I have Heavy Armor Master, Bludgeoning, Piercing, Slashing damage you take from non-magical. Is it non-magical? It's it a gargoyle. It is technically non-magical, yes. Oh! Okay, so I actually take um, 8 damage then. Perfect. That brings up this uh, V-Rock right here. Did they take both uh, of their attacks? Oh, they missed one. That's right missed one and he because he's on either you guys are sort of flanking him here he's gonna take one attack at joe jack and one attack at chamba so the joe jack uh, is uh 19 natural yeah. so that's gonna do that hit. do that one with um i'll use my reaction to make that disadvantage oh okay so roll again and that's a natural 18 so that me. still hits um, so 2d6, oh, oh god, that's so poor. That's, uh, 6 damage. I can deal with that. And then the one on Chombo is a 3, so that hit, that will, and then he is going to move away from you bastards. Oh, so did he do damage to me? I'm sorry. Oh shit, but he'll get opportunity attacks from everyone. Never mind, he's not going stay right where the fuck he is <laughs> yeah, yeah we you, would just no you didn't you didn't chombo you okay. escaped i'm scared yes. yeah you chombo did not get hit me. chombo uh that will bring up joe jack all right uh you, you see uh that if ever there was a time to heal clunge his uh his guts are pouring out of his <laughs> and it's uh it looks like they've poured out before there's like pennies and legos in yeah, them and yeah, shit yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. you can All tell right, he, well. you can tell he stuffed it back in a couple of I, times. I don't know I why stare pennies at you. and legos got me so good but God damn it. i stare at you and uh i i speak into the <laughs> air not at you but just around me he who causes pain can also heal. And I cast level three cure wounds on you. Ooh. Just get you right back up to snuff, you know? Touch it. Put your hand right in the guts. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Well, that one wasn't so good. 19. 19? Wait, wait, wait. 19 plus two. Twenty-one on healing. Good God! Wow, my guy, incredible. That's good. Wow. Yeah, that's uh, you just re-knitted my guts, man. Yeah. <laughs> you can see the Legos just start like squeezing back into his skin. The pennies <laughs> are just kind of—they look like they're going in, back into the bank. Clunge is the one person I can't bring back to life. Oh <laughs> no! I, I'm a mystery. Yeah. What? My body is a wonderland. I have spared the dying. <laughs> but it doesn't work on Constructs. It's the main it's reason I chose true. that spell. To it doesn't matter. Us more disadvantage. He, I get it. He That's has advantage fun. on death saves anyway. That's so true. It, it's, yeah, you're all right. Uh, okay, uh, Wiki. What a clutch. Unless Thank you're you. moving. Unless you're moving, Joe Jack. You, you just still have your movement. No, if any... Yeah, no, we're right next to each other. He, Everyone uh -huh. takes disadvantage and advantage. We're good. Because he's flanked yeah. by my position here, right? For Chombo? Yeah. That, you well, that, oh, that no, first one, was. yeah, that V-Rock is definitely flanked by you and Chamba. So, so Wikipedia, okay. yeah. 
Yeah, then I'm good. I stay here. I just ready my shield. I go, let's do it! Cool, so yeah, that's, uh, wiki. Yeah, I'm just gonna... <clears throat> I'm gonna, uh... Double Eldritch Blast the marked guy. The target you, don't, you don't do that 29 again to that guy? No. Oh, well, so... He, he could, but... Yeah, his Eldritch Blast would technically do more damage than just three lightning in him. Because it's still an action, right? Yeah, so you have to your spend action your action to, to, that. Re yeah. to re yeah. damage. But you yeah, don't have to roll so... to hit again. Well, right. and, and I'm going to hit the one that is mostly dead, so hopefully this kills it. Yeah, so roll the first one. Uh, 25 to hit. 25 definitely or hits. Roll damage. 10 damage. Yes. Okay. And He's second blast. So 13, god damn it. Yeah! Even with your uh, plus, huh? That's a bummer. No, that, yeah, that's 13 to fiddle. Oh. All right. Uh, so um, that but, misses. But I am going to uh, try and intimidate it. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Uh, by, I guess, yelling, uh... Do a couple of rounds in the air. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, just by by blasting nearby it. Awesome. Come uh, okay. you piece of shit. <laughs> that brings up uh, Chombo. Okay, so I have like an advantage. A 26 for or something? No, no, no. A 6. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, Sam, I'm flanking him with you, so you roll you do, with advantage. Do you have advantage on this creature right now? Okay, yeah. So I'm going to uh, equip Shillelagh. And no, then... Yeah, then I'm going to attack him with my Blood Spear. Use it. That's going to be six plus... How do I uh, implement the Shillelagh situation? Well, you, you've got to oh, roll to Oh, I have to, to, I have to roll to deal yep. damage first. Okay. Yeah, yeah, roll. But you've got advantage, so you, you would roll two d20s and take the higher one. Okay, I'm sorry. How do I do that? Oh, I roll the hit DC thing, right? Yeah, exactly. So, like, whatever okay. your okay your blood spear, just roll the thing that's right next to it. it says plus so that's six. Thirteen. Uh, that or misses. I, can I roll again? Roll again. Okay. Okay, that's a twenty-three. That definitely hits. Okay. So yeah, I've already rolled a six for the damage, and then whatever Shillelagh augments that. How's that work? Mon Six plus three, Shillelagh. Shillelagh makes it a D8 and makes you able to use your wisdom instead of strength for attacks. Yeah. Also, your Shillelagh gives you plus five. Um, your, uh, oh yeah, it just makes it, it just makes it higher. It just makes the, it D8 instead of uh, one D8 plus two. Let me look, of, uh, I'll take a look at it, Chamba. You might not need to use I'm Shillelagh looking at it right now. He doesn't with the Blood Spear. The Blood Spear is a plus six. Um, so technically you're, you're, you're only losing two points of damage by using the blood spear, but you get a plus on your, uh, on your hit. Yeah. Okay. So I guess I just, I rolled six for damage. Awesome. If, if Shirley does nothing. All right. Uh, that brings up plunge. Hang on a second. So should I no longer use Shillelagh if I have Blood Spear? Um, yeah. I yeah, I mean, well, Shillelagh's here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is what it says: the wood or club quarter staff you are holding is imbued with nature's power, so you can't even use it. On can't use Shillelagh on the Blood Spear. Okay. But that doesn't matter because the Blood Spear is plus six anyway. Yeah, the Blood Spear is plenty nasty. Well, I'm gonna get rid of Shillelagh then. You, uh, I mean, right. you don't have to. Yeah. It's a bonus action. Yeah. Yeah, Shillelagh also, like, if you were uh, disarmed for whatever reason, and you grabbed a fucking stick from nearby, true. you could attack with that used in Shillelagh. What if I were deep pants? <laughs> Didn't, well, <laughs> pants are not included. Uh, okay. Pants but as long included. as you're uh, hot, you can use your dick. I will oh attack God. the one. I will attack the one that uh, still has my... Uh, mark on it. Also, Sam, I'm looking at your thing right now. You have two weapon fighting. 
the technically you could hold the blood spear in one hand and quarter staff in the other nice. and Whoa, two crazy. attacks per turn uh, instead of one. That's cool. Whoa, that rocks! How'd you get two weapon fighting? It's a, it's a, it's in his bonus action. Wow, rad. Um, so that's a twenty-two to hit with the sun yep, sword. Yeah. Are you right. hitting the one, one that's, that's marked hunter? by me? Absolutely. Uh, six damage with my uh, hunter's damage. Yes, I, I, I oh, pierce right. his heart with the blade of pure fire, and I turn my rage on the on the one behind me. And uh, with my bonus action, I will move hunter's mark to that one and attack it. Huh? Oh, Go oh, ahead. Oh, I critted. Nice. Roll damage. Kill them both. Come on. Come on. Here it goes. Oh, not bad, not bad. 14 damage with the crit. 14. Uh, plus... 5. So, 19 oh, damage. God. Alright. Uh, that is going to bring up this... <laughs> Damn it. I Damn it. I killer V-Rock. You were so close, dude. You were so fucking close. <laughs> I could tell. Uh, <laughs> Uh, and he is going to come myself. after you because you just <laughs> fucked him up. So Get it. that's a natural one. Yes! <laughs> uh, and a yes. natural 20 for the second what? one. So that's a bummer. Um, so 2d6 plus 3. That's 6 times 2 is 12. So 15 points of damage. God damn. Um, Fuck, that and, shut me up. Yeah, and he uh, is going to use his movement to get out of... Oh, no, not not Chombo. He's going to use his movement to get out of uh, being flanked by you assholes. Oh, yeah, but he takes it. Yep, he takes it. Oh, shit. We attack so Never hard. mind, he wouldn't do that. He wouldn't. Okay. I'll allow uh, it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that brings up Joe Jack. All right, I got some golden grams in me, so I got the fuel to think about this. Yes. Uh, You're eating golden grams. <laughs> yes. And I'm going to uh, assume his wisdom isn't too high and uh, toll Johnson the dead. Do sure. it. Roll so a wisdom 13 or higher on that wisdom. Uh, that is a 10 plus 2. So, oh, no. You needed to beat 13. Yep. Yeah. What's the damage? Two. It was a <laughs> quiet <laughs> bell. No way. Are you serious? Oh my yeah. god. Okay. Uh, so, Wikipedia, you're up. That sucks. Uh, right, you. I guess. Let's witch bolt this motherfucker again. Or, Obviously, no. no. Elvish Blast. Go ahead. No, no, like Eldritch. You got two of them, so you know. First one's twenty-five to hit. Definitely hits. For nine damage. Fuck yeah. How would you like to murder this V Rock? Yes. Oh, I oh, would okay. like to. Uh, I'd like to look at him and just get get his eyes looking directly back at me, and tell him, "Where do you get to hell?" Tell the devil I'm covered for him too. And then I can oh. his fucking head. Brutal. See how mean they look? Look how mean these things are. Awesome. Love oh, it. Cool. What are they called? A rock. It's called a V Rock. V Rock. Mm -hmm. It's my favorite radio station. Yeah. All right. Well, rock, kids, rock for virgins. You have taken down the two V Rocks. You are now okay. standing in front of uh, this. Uh, portcullis with uh, an iron gate and uh, giant green flames uh, on the other side of that gate. What would you like to do? Plunge is kind of waiting for Wikipedia move uh, as the others approach the gate and when slash if he walks up, he's like, I'm sorry about your little man. It was so <laughs> ugly, but so brave. <laughs> Uh, about 6.30, does anyone need a break? You guys want to grab a drink, do anything? You wanna uh, I'm going to go hit the bong. I mean, read the Bible. Uh, but yep. I'll, uh... It's time for King James to turn his head. <laughs> <laughs> I can still hear. 
and I'm excited to hear about this uh, gate. All right, I'm going to... I have a few spells we can play with. I have detect magic, but obviously the fire's magic, so let's save that. But it would tell it would tell you what kind of magic or what kind of spell it is. Do you have to I spell also have magic? a plus eight yeah. to arcana, so... You know what That's also works? Uh, we know that we can go up and over, ah, and we have yes. all that climbing gear. Oh, yeah, for sure. I can also, like, uh, mold earth and raise the gate, but we still have the fire to worry about. Yeah, how yeah, does I this... Mean, I mean, can I'm, we investigate this I'll gate and see how to open it? Yeah, you can absolutely do an, uh... I rolled an 8 to investigate the gate. I assume I hit my head on a bar? You didn't hit your head on a bar, but it looks like a pretty <laughs> solid gate. Uh, I mean, it's I made of metal, I rolled and then twenty-one for what were you rolling for? Investigating the gate. Investigate. Sure. Nice, nice, good work. Um. Yeah, I mean, it is. Uh, it, it is a metal gate. Uh, there's nothing that you can see. Uh, that would that would say you know that you could break the gate or there's no buttons to push to like raise the gate if it, it is a, a pretty typical metal gate what it raises essentially so we could like mold the earth and he could raise the gate up five feet there's still fire uh there is yeah there's still there's still fire on the other uh, on the other side of the gate within and it, I'm gonna investigate see it. On the yeah, you want to investigate the fire? Yeah, let me look at that uh, gate with some arcana knowledge. Please, please, do an arcana. 22. See yeah. if I know uh, the spell or what's creating it, you know, if I'm familiar with this flame. It is definitely a magic fire. Uh, you do get, like, a glow of magic uh, coming off of it. Um, you, you can tell that... Uh, that it, it will come back uh, so it's a very powerful magical spell um, but uh, it, it, even if you got rid of it it, it would come back uh, after a short time okay I relay that to the people this uh, mm. this flame we could extinguish it for now and pass through it if we can get through this gate it will come back but uh, it's not too dangerous if we just pour some water on it it seems well, I don't have any more water because I used up all my water, but uh, <laughs> I can breathe underwater and walk across it if that makes you feel better. It does. It all right. does. Yeah, maybe oh, wait. Go around. I can also, like, uh, you can't. I could, I could misty step through it. Yeah, you could, for sure. I can't technically go all of this over here are all super like it's on the side of a cliff you can sort of see it on that side. and there are Rumbo. spikes you read my on mind. This top I took the misty step should we misty step our asses through there I think well, maybe one of us at the top of the, the game thing, drop down some rope so we all climb up that's a great idea that's pretty good Right. Uh, it will be hard. You can see, like, on this side view, you've got spikes up here, right? So Whoa. if you misty step to those spikes, you you could hurt yourself. Um, and, and then also climbing over the other side, it's a very big fall. I see. Um, what about misty stepping to the spot where the gargoyles once were? It's 30 um, feet. Yeah, it's thirty feet up. You're, th those gargoyles do not exist there anymore. So yeah, that is that is plausible. Right, Jumbo, why don't you go? I kind of take out one of the hempen ropes. I'm like, why don't you go and bamf this up there, and then you can throw it down. I could also do it if you don't have enough spell slots. I have. Uh, Misty steps a cantrip for me, right? No, what? it's, a, it's what? a bonus action. No. Oh, you can cast it for free, I think. Uh, that no, it's level two. Crazy. It's second level for me. Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, man, I don't care. I'll fucking go up there. Uh, okay. Great. Go for Unless it. Unless you... Yeah, all right. Well, I'm up there. Hey. Uh, do you have to roll for Misty Step? No. Or it just happens? No. no? Okay. 
Cool. Nice try. No, you're good. I Briefly surrounded you know, by I'm, silver I'm and mist, stupid. you teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space that you can see. Excuse hey, I'm me. up here. My roll 20 is fucked right now. Hi, Zello. Sky hey. Jumbo, throw it down. I've thrown down the rope. Right. I'm going to tether it to one of these spikes using one of my ancient druidic knots. There you go. <laughs> All right, like anyone that's climbing over, uh, I need uh, I need you to make an athletics check. All um, right. Should we do this? Should we oh. do some guiding or some blessing? Oh, did I you don't need it. it. <laughs> uh, Nineteen. Well, I I probably do. Okay. Can you hawk? Can you hawk one down on? Wikipedia. 30, 30 feet down, no, down. it's a it's a touch spell. You can't. Oh, it do is it a touch computer. spell. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, let's find out what happens here. Uh, two. Oh. Oh, no. Um. Yeah. I mean, uh, you you try and climb up. I mean, you do have down. spider crawl. I can't cast it on myself. Oh really? Oh, wow, yeah. it's a touch. Sucks. Oh, but you can you, you can do touch spells on yourself. I've been guiding my own ass for years. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I. Let me make sure. Pretty. I'm balanced. Oh, okay. Sure. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That'll do it. Um, can I like? All right, you guys go ahead. I'll take a thirty-minute rest. Can I like um? Can I like put uh, Wikipedia on my shoulders and climb him up? Um, you can try. It'll be a it'll be a hard DC uh, for you to do, um, and it'll be I want to say strength instead of uh, instead of uh, athletics. athletics. Yeah, Look, I'm telling you, just let me take a rest. Well, we should be taking we should be taking a short rest anyway. Yeah, you guys want to take a short rest? Yeah. Okay. So I'll tell you what. Here's my athletics roll. Natural twenty. <laughs> All right. Yes. Totally fine. So right. yes. Well, I, I leap on the his open back. <laughs> Crawl inside of his flesh. Can we now that um, now that I'm up here with? Terrifying ease, I imagine. Uh, I maybe in another life I was a rope climber. Maybe you were uh, a rope. Maybe I was a rope. Uh, can I? Can we like just tie the rope around Wikipedia and I haul him up? Um. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. You. You were climbing him on your back. So I'm. I'm gonna oh, say okay. you guys are now on top of okay, this cool. little area. Let's short rest mm -hmm. up here. Still right. have to get 30 Thanks. feet down. Yeah. Short Let's take rest. a rest up there. Do it. I confirmed it. I confirmed it as well. Confirms these. Um, I will so I don't, take. I don't heal from that though, right? You can spend. You can. You can spend, spend hit dice. dice when you click the short rest button at the top of the page. It'll. Yeah. Uh, It'll say if you. It'll ask you if you want to spend hit dice, and you can click how many you want to spend. There's also a thing that says reset maximum HP changes during this rest, and I always click that. Um, okay. Um, so if I expend have an issue hit, with roll twenty, everyone. If I expend hit die, what's that mean? I don't know. What that means. It means My that, roll So you have. Um, so those hit die are. Um, so like I have five that I can spend throughout a day. It means when we're resting, I can use that short rest to attempt to, to heal as many dice as I want, but only five. Like, I, I can I can use those five dice to try to heal hit points. So right now, during this rest, I'm going to spend three hit dice because I got hurt pretty bad. So and I'm going to... Yeah, one D8 um, plus three is your hit die. So you would you could roll you know up to five d eights and add three to each of those. Right. I think you can just click it if you go into your short rest. 
yeah. and then quick like should... three hit die and then hit take short rest and nah, it doesn't for me at least oh does it not it okay no yeah so i keep clicking take short rest and confirm and then it doesn't mm -hmm. Just, All right, so on, just, here's what you do so set, just one, just two, click two. uh so click short short rest mark how many hit dice you want to use yeah confirm the rest and then just roll those die so i'm gonna roll like i'm gonna roll three d10 plus two for each yeah right you now. would roll you would roll d8s chombones 10 right so two So that's five plus three. It's eight. Right, so I heal eight. Yep. Yeah, I got. 15. You gotta do that on your D and D Beyond. Yeah. Cool. Okay. And we don't get any spells back for that, right? Some people get spell slots yeah. back on short rests. Okay. I didn't. It know, would. But that's okay. Yeah, it I would rest. happen in D &D Beyond. All, All right. right. I rolled like dog shit on those fucking heels. Anyway, uh, right. coil up this hemp and rope, throw it over the other side, and begin to descend. Cool. Um, pretty easy DC, but uh, everybody that's climbing down the rope, make an athletics check. I will go first, uh, and I will try. I will try to spot check anybody who might ah, fall. This time I got thirteen. Nice. nice. Um, Just barely. I D and D Beyond isn't working for me. I don't know what happened. Yeah, Dude, my my roll twenty is being super weird right now. Internet. It had a yeah. it had a weird thing when I tried to take a short rest. Also, uh, I had to reload. Yeah. Jeez, I hope it doesn't. I, I hope my good. characters are okay. <laughs> I rolled a uh, twenty. Nice. Nineteen plus one, so I get down successfully. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna roll on roll twenty. I'm gonna roll a twenty. Yeah, I can't even get into D and D Beyond right now. I'm gonna roll a physical die. Oh, there we go. Now it's in. Job. Okay, I'm in. And you said athletic check. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. It's a six. What is that thing? What is that thing? All right. Um, yeah, uh, so everyone else is, uh, is down, uh, as Chombo is coming down, Chombo sort of, uh, loses his grip, uh, and falls 20 feet. Can I try to catch him? Uh, you can, yeah. Make, a, like uh, make a strength save. Catch me, Frank Stein, man. Yeah, you can. I'm not. I'm dense. <laughs> I guess I'm a little. I'm a little dumb. Twenty-two. Oh, oh yeah, man. The cabbage Just... roll's been acquired. Yeah, you're you're able to you're able to catch him. So yes, I will say, not, and uh, that's really good too because I rolled Oof. really high on his <laughs> damage. You're a monster. Uh, uh, it it, it would have really hurt him. All right, so not I will say, God. You are all down uh, on this area. What would you like to do next? Can I kind of inspect this side to see if there's a way to turn off the fire? Uh, yeah, do an inspection. Can somebody uh, else do it, actually? An investigation? Anyone who's good at yeah. it? Yeah, I can do that. Uh, okay. Oh, I will. Well, well. Yeah, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't look like it. Um, with Roger's arc. You guys know that this fire is magic, um, and, and that it will return. Even if you were to make it go away for a little bit, it, it will come back. So um, there, there's no real way to turn off the fire. Let's uh, let's go open this door to the thing up on the right. Yeah, yeah. So this is uh, the guard tower. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think we will uh, approach the guard maybe... tower. If somebody has a perception to listen in, I can detect magic if you want to see that. No, those things weren't magical, oh. were they? You know what? I would like to do. I perceived a three <laughs> or a nine. So, Clunge is gonna go up to this tower and um, kind of place a hand on the wall. 
of it. Okay. And I'm going to perceive, or I'm going to use my divine sense to sense for undead within 60 feet. Undead fiends or aberrations. Kind of smells uh, the air. Totally would have worked on the, um, on the big old V-rocks there, had you done it before. Mm. Um, as of right now, you sense nothing uh, in the guard. Wait, how long does the spell go? How Sorry, far does it reach? 60 feet. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's yeah, pretty long. you do not sense, you do not sense anything. Okay. I'm gonna open the door to this thing. Do it. Okay. I'm going uh, to the, prepare the door a spell. is locked. Oh, son of a bitch. Uh, uh, can I check for traps? Uh, you Good can, boy. yeah. <laughs> and then investigation, or how do we, how do we do this now? Um, well, I think that would be an, I think it's an is its own thing, yeah, so investigation. God damn it, eight. Yeah, um, I mean, it's a really... Doesn't, doesn't seem... They're cutting out bad there. Yeah. But either way, I did not. The door's send locked, anything. and you can't see a trap. I'm gonna yeah, go yeah. ahead and try and take the lock. Um, All right. Okay. Let me guide you. Don't, you. you don't see any obvious. Did you hear that, Nate? No. The guidance. I did not. Uh, he's get Chambo's. Get, Chambo's giving you guidance. Yeah. You don't see an obvious lock. Did you hear that? Okay. You did now. Yeah. Yeah, there's not a there's not like a, a keyhole or anything. Uh the, the door seems uh with iron and wood. It doesn't doesn't seem like there's a, a lock to be picked. Well, we could just, I say we past just this tower. I say we just but break the door open, see what's in here real quick, and then leave. Yeah, can I try to break it down? Absolutely. Yeah. Make a strength check. Guy Open our right. or, or athletics. Uh, have a little taste. Need to say, ah, I'm great. I will do this with uh, guidance. Fuck are you? There it is. Blue. Blue. Fifteen. Uh, yeah, you hit the door, uh, and it, it moves a little bit, but, uh, it does, it does not open. How tall is this tower? Um, total tower is... Uh, ground floor. Well, I mean, we can just move I'm... past it, I guess. I want to see what's in here, but I am fine with leaving if we just cannot. 40... It, it's 60 feet high total. No, I think this is why we came here. I would like to give Roger Spider Climb to go start investigating this thing from the top down. Ooh. If he wants to. All right, I go up there. All right, so Roger's is... going to climb on the side of the tower. And try and get to the top of that. All right. Um When you rode past, I seen you was carrying fire and a horn. You like it up there, Roger? It's neat. It's neat, everyone. I hope these uh sentinels don't come to life. So, I'm trying to reveal the area. Target gains target gains at climbing speed equal to its walking speed. So, Roger, I believe your walking speed is 25, so if you were to dash, you could make it almost to the top of this. Listen, it takes me a little hour bit. hour-long with concentration <laughs> spell, so he can saunter if he wants. <laughs> I saunter up the tower. So, Roger, as you uh, move up, if you to the right, you can see I uh, made it a little sort of C. There is an open window on the second level uh, that you can climb in. So right. I will say you can put that yourself right there. 
Let's do that. And I make my way down uh, to unlock the door if possible. Penetrate sure, the there, door. There are stairs on this side over here, so you can go down the stairs. Nate, how long does yep. it take you to make a new Plinko? That I do. Uh, one hour. Roger's in there. He loves that it. Short rest. Well, look at me go. Nice. Cool. And I, uh, uh, I unlock the door if possible. Move whatever's barring it. Uh, yeah. There's uh, just a big bar there, so you can absolutely uh, move that oh, and, oh, and, yeah. and open it up. So everyone is now on the bottom floor of the tower. I'm in here. What do we see? Um, make an investigation check. Fudge squad. Can I do perception? Uh, sure. Yeah, I mean, if you're searching around, then it'd be investigation. If you're just walking in and kind of looking around, then... That's second one. I think I'm just kind of taking the, the room to be like, are there people in here? Is there I rolled a 20 up? to investigate this first floor. <laughs> I rolled a 9. I rolled a 19 nice. perception. Uh, so yeah, it, it's uh, it's essentially an ice box with window. There's a rusted iron ladder bolted to the floor, and the ceiling leads up to a wooden trap door mounted above uh, the stone hearth. Is a direwolf's head. Ooh, let's take it. <laughs> you want to take it? Yeah. Yep. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna start climbing this ladder, I guess. Two. Yeah. Uh, go ahead and make a strength check. Jordan. We lost cool. you. I think okay. both of us. 22. Sorry, I'm trying to blow my nose on. No worries, you're just cutting in and out. You were did. It, it was know. really good. It was really good for the first like half of it. Um, I'm getting the new internet thing this week, so. I got 15. I got 22. Awesome. So yeah, you can pull the direwolf head off, off of it. Like. Oh no, we were climbing the. Oh, we were. Sorry. Yeah. No, absolutely. you pulled the dire's head, the dire wolf's head yeah. off. Thank you very much. We missed hey. Glenn. Hey, little people, enjoy the wolf head. We'll be up here <laughs> being men. Have fun changing each other's diapers. We're up the ladder. All right. So, uh, the trapdoor spider clay pushes open <laughs> with a squeal, uh, revealing the rooftop area. I will reveal that to you right now. Hopefully, if roll 20 fucking works. Feel that ass. Reveal it. Reveal it. Reveal it. Show me a secret. Show me reveal it. Show there me was nothing the really on that first one, huh? No, not, not besides the, the dire yeah. wolf head. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the, uh, the trap door opens. Is it just, uh, Chombo and, uh, Clunge up there? So far. Right now, yep. Okay. Um, so, uh, ten-foot-tall gold-plated statues stand atop the battlements facing outward. Each one depicts a female human knight holding a lance. All the right. cold wind stirs the snow under which you see human skeletons clad in rusty mail. So it's like a bunch of bunch of sexy steel mannequins up there. Oh. Right. Do they seem to be this... um, animate? Um, not not at this moment. But uh, as you get up there, the swirling snow is, uh, starts to move around uh, the forms of these thin young women. The wind howls, and you hear, "Be gone! The treasure is ours." Rumbo's gonna do that thing where he licks his pinky and his pointer finger and then pushes yeah. his eyebrows from the middle outward. Um, uh, there six snow maidens appear uh, on the big top uh, of this, uh, of this, and I need you all to watch. Right. Okay, can, it, can we assume that I communicated this to the boys down below and we all spill out of the trap door? Yes, absolutely. I, I will allow you all to be running up uh, as this is taking a second. That was sort of swirling around and creating yeah. these As snow that's meetings. happening, Clunge is like, he lo he lowers the trapdoor a little bit. And he's like, I see the women statues. I think they're coming to life. Hang on. Yes, they're definitely coming to life. Get up here now. 
Yeah, Trombo's like, it's a broad party. Let's get up here and sniz hunt, fellas. <sighs> Trombo, Trombo thinks he has a shot with them, but I don't think so quickly. <laughs> quickly. Um, Jumbo just pulled his his thumb off, and the women are nonplussed. Oh, we should uh, we should just go right back down the tower. I no no, this is what we're here for. This is part of the fucking the fortune, right? I'm sure it is, but we can take them coming through one single door. No, this is, no, this is fortune favors the the grunge. <laughs> Roger. Roger has a point. <laughs> Roger's kind of the Squidward of the affair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so uh, go ahead, everyone. Roll. I did. I did. I did. Okay. Uh, so 20 to 25. Uh, 15 to 20. 15. Nice. Joe, Jack. 15. Uh... 10 to 15. 14 for Wikipedia. Nice. 11. Not last. 11 for the Trump Trump Vector Okay. Uh, 5 to 10. 8. Oh, 8. Oh. Sorry, 8. Oh, eight. 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 Yes. Okay. Um, clunge. So, uh, that will bring up Joe Jack first. All right. Real talk. We need to have an open and honest discussion about maybe taking some defensive positions. I mean, what are these? What are we dealing with? Is that a free action to assess? Um, I mean... They're snow maidens, right? Yeah, I mean, they're called snow maidens. They're essentially these swirls of snow that made themselves into thin female looking creatures. They're so snow they made maiden. To bring Elementals. In the human mind, the radical revolution. Um, the crisis. And there sure. Crisis in the world. Roger, I feel like you can control Especially fire or some shit. I cannot. You could melt them. All right. Neither can I. Well, I am going to be using a fireball blast. Well, well, pig, pig man, you gotta decide if you're gonna bail. You gotta, you gotta bail first. Yeah, I mean, Joe Jack's up first. So. All right. Well, uh, without using my movement, I'm going to. Uh... Yeah, I guess toll the dead on him. Let me see if that's a bad mistake. Yeah, no, we're good. I told the dead on them. They have to. Okay. They have to defeat a thirteen wisdom check. Does that hit more? Oh. Than one? No, just that one. I'm hitting the orange one. Oh, okay. Um, that is. What is it? A wisdom? Wisdom check of thirteen. Yeah, that's a seven. So fails. Everyone's wisdom is low. All right. 2d8. Or is it something more? No, 2d8. You're attacking oh. the orange one? Yep. Eight. Uh, and what type of damage is this? Necrotic. Necrotic damage. It takes zero points of damage. Oh. Uh, and I'm going to just kind of slip down to the second floor. <laughs> okay. Sure. Uh, it's a 20-foot ladder, um, so you, yeah, you can use your move to uh, slip down to the second floor. Yep. Uh, and that will bring up uh, Wikipedia. All right. Uh, I'm immediately going to drop down to the bottom of this ladder and ready a fireball for when uh, enemies are coming through. Okay. Uh, you're going to hold your action at the bottom of the... At the bottom of the stairs. Yep. Okay. Uh, that brings Chombo. Chombo will. Uh, he's gonna summon a beast. Oh yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. And that beast is going to be. What's that fucking bird that's hella dangerous? 
Oh, uh, the cassowary? cassowary? Yeah. Yeah, I guess not a cassowary. But I, not a bird. <laughs> No, you were completely right. It was a cassowary. <laughs> I'm, I wasn't I'm thinking going, of a bird. Yeah, no. Bird, cassowary is a bird. It uh, is. I'm going to create like a... I'm going to create a wolverine. Okay. It's going to have uh, pack tactics. Oh, yeah. Can I recommend just coming down the stairs? Oh, well, you can come down the stairs. Kill all of this shit. Well... Coming from the ladder. Yeah, I'm going to do that first. Shit, uh, with the fireball. Sure. Right, so my movement will be going downstairs. Yeah, yeah. oh, I'm fine sure. with it. Summon that beast and join us. All right. And the beast uh, is going to go after me. The, yeah. yeah, The and the beast is going to make its own attack. Creature! Uh, yeah, well, if it, if it attacks, it can't just come down the ladder. Yeah. Correct. So it's going to come down the ladder. <laughs> okay. Um, now it's a snowman. Remember that attack. you've got your beast. I've got a, I don't, Tony is being a bitch right now, so I don't want to try and add something in there. Okay, yeah, gonna, you're good. Um, that will bring up Clunge. Oh, Clunge is going to. Clunge is going to. Is going to slide down the uh, ladder. And he lands in kind of a rad superhero stance and uh, casts protect. He, he casts protection and good from good and evil on himself. Kind of a weird beam of light follows him through the trap door and blesses okay. his landing. I have cast it upon myself, and I turn and, and join the others. Um, and kind of, I face the front. All right. As as Clone uh. drops down. I am going to unleash the fireball that I have prepared nice. at the top of this thing. Uh, okay. Which will be a 20 foot spear, which hits everybody. Sure. Uh, so they're going to need to make a dex save for 16. Oh! 16 dex save? I should have baned them. I didn't even think about it. Or right. take 28 damage each. First one is an eight, so that won't fail. Uh, second one is a six, so that won't fail. Uh, that's a natural twenty, so that Woo! one succeeds. Yeah. Uh, that is a twelve plus two, fourteen. Failure. Um, how many is that? So four. That's yeah, a that three, four. so that's a fail. Uh, and that is a 17, so that's a success. So, four of them fail, and how much damage? Four of them take 28 damage, and then two of them take 14. Fire, Fire damage, uh, I assume, right? Fire damage, yes. Should it matter? Which typically melts snow. Okay, but magical 28, snow? 28, you said, on the big one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the four that took 28 take 14 instead. Um, they are resistant to fire. Whoa. So. Fuckers. All right. Uh, so then seven for the other two. Snow ladies. I've never even heard of these things. Me neither. I've never even heard of those, those gargle boys either. Though. Okay. Um, it is now uh, their turn. Um, but there is this... fire still remaining up there that they have to pass through. Okay. Uh, they are not moving off of the. Uh, the snow maidens are going to come in a little bit. Um, but uh, they are here and this is their spot. They are not chasing you. They want to keep their treasure. So the treasure's up there, confirmed. Where is it? I mean, that's what they said to you when you came up. With, Get out of here. The treasure is ours. We are at seven. I don't know if you guys have a... Um, hold on. I think... Well, I have some things gotta I gotta go can, up there. I can keep... Stro I have to see them, probably. Let me see. I, I mean... I can yeah. Eldritch Blast them until the cows come home. Dead. Yeah. 
But I mean, you know, we're nothing to fuck with these days, you know? We are ourselves. Um, DM, from what I've seen, do I think, does Clunge think that we could take these characters? Um, I mean, tough, tough to say. They're, uh, I mean, you use your turn to, you know, make a, make an arcana check or, or an investigation check, but, yeah, um, I, will. I mean, they're, they're made out of snow, so it's, 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 it's tough. We I'm are at the top to... of the round. They spent their turns just moving and staying up there, so it is Joe Jack's turn. So I guess I can detect magic on them or do an arcana check. Do arcana. Work on people. Ooh. Mm, I mean, if they're of a specific magical yeah. form, then it might inform you. Well, I can't see him, so I can't cast that spell. I will roll an arcana check for my action. See if I can, I don't know, deduce what type they are, get a little bit of information on the on them, or... Sure, go ahead. Oh, I rolled a 26. Yes. Nice. Uh, so with that roll, um, you, you would be able to tell that they are, that they are kind of specters. Uh, they are uh, almost undead. Um, they're they're definitely magical, um, okay. but other than that, not I'm undead not enough for my uh, divine undead. sense to detect them. Um, well, they weren't there, so they didn't appear until you uh, uh, like got up on the top. As soon as you passed that, that okay. sort of signified to them. I'm just, I'm just they were not the statues. The, they were their own kind of thing. Okay, so it's Joe Jack's turn. Was that was that Yeah that was Joe Jack's turn so now it's with me. Uh well technically I held my turn until one correct came down. So right, right but yeah. I, t- I no I took my turn uh, as I was climbing down I cast a spell on myself. Yeah but you you held your no, action saying, until I, you saw something yeah. and you didn't see anything that 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 spell faded but i should be on clunge's same initiative turn but no, i you, rolled eight i was at the end you, you held your action until you saw something right so you were saying i'm holding my action and t- to come down uh and nothing tried to come down so there was no there was no action to do well but he uh, still cast the fireball through the hole and exploded it up there mm, mm. yeah yeah you're right, yeah, yeah, so it's just your regular initiative. Um, I guess... Let me try and frostbite one of these motherfuckers. Uh, uh yeah, you're down below them, so you can't see them. They can't they're, see anything. No, they're up top, they're a floor above you, so you have to climb up to be able to get that. Mm, that seems problematic. Okay, how hold, about this? You, you can hold we destroy again the top floor. Come up behind me. How can we even do that? I can also well, roll. I can turn undead. Maybe they're that undead. Try it. I mean, I think we yeah. got to go back up there. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and hold my turn. If something takes their head through, I'm going to hit yeah. them with the frostbite. You, do you, as a paladin, you have turn undead, right? I don't, but I'm a different kind of paladin. Gotcha. Well, then me and you should go up there first on the next oh, well. round. And we as turn soon as it's dead. my turn, I'm going to go yep. up there. So, uh, I mean, what do you, are you... I think we're just oh, going to pass. Oh, because already yeah, did yeah. his, so now it's I'm now it's Chombo's turn there. after Wiki. Are we going up there? We're going up there. Not yet. Uh, Let me go up there first, because I might be able to turn undead, and they could all just have to go away from me for 30 feet, and we can have a better chance of not being, like, we'll rushed. Put every single one of them over the edge. <laughs> and, we, and we basically just have, um, uh, Chombo and Wikipedia hold their turns, and then we go, climb up there, use our turns, then they go, then we're back to normal initiative. Um, I mean, you're you're after Dombo, then you, and then they go. Right. So it would be, I go, then no, wait. I'm first. 
So if you, Roger goes, the, then I go. The, theoretically, we could all hold our turn to the same round of initiative and allow them to get a free round. To no, that's not that. what I'm saying, though. Because if it, so no, it's, I'm, I'm just saying that that in theory that could be done. So yeah. I don't we think they're going to do anything. They're just going to stand there. All we want to do is go up first. You mean you and, and Roger? Yes. Roger. Yeah. I mean, you can hold your action until it's Roger's turn and say that you want to follow him up there. Um, you would be the only one able to do that, though, because Wiki said he was holding his action to see if anyone peeked in. And then, I mean, Chombo hasn't said what he's doing yet, right? Correct. So my if, turn? If, yes, if Chombo wants to say, I want to hold until Joe Jack goes up, then he can do that. Yeah, I'm going to hold, and so is the beast. Okay. Uh, same thing for Clunge. Uh, yeah, I will go up. Behind me, break up. Same thing for you, Jordan. You want to hold your action until Joe Jack goes up? Uh, yes. Okay. okay. So, uh, I will say, then, beginning of the round, it's Joe Jack's turn. I will just say, if you're all going up together with Joe Jack, you can do that. Except Wiki, because Wiki wasn't holding that action. I think that's fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm standing back. So, that's everyone up, except Wiki. And I And then it is your turn. Turn undead. Turn undead. They all have to make a wisdom saving throw of 13 or spend one minute. What does it say? As an action, you present your holy symbol and speak a prayer censoring the undead. Each undead that you can, that can see or hear you within 30 feet must make a wisdom saving throw of DC 13. If the creature fails, if the creature fails its saving throw, it is turned for one minute or until it takes any damage. A turn creature must spend its turns trying to move as far as way as it can from me. Okay. And it can't um, willingly move into a space within 30 feet of me. So that's a 2, that's a fail, that's a 19, that's a success, It's an 11 fail, 10 fail, Nice. 7 fail, and a 12 fail. So only nice. succeeded. Um, so they all... Oh, Over they have the to edge spend with their, you. They have to spend their turn, right? So they spend their yes. turn moving yes. away from you. It That's is not it their too. turn yet. Um, you guys held your actions, so... And then it's the... Yeah, so now it's Wiki. Uh, is turn on dead my action? Oh, is it, it is. not a spell? No, it's just, just channel divinity, but... so I guess it would be an action. Oh, yeah, as an action, it says that up right up front. Yeah. Yeah. Do, do I know which one has not been turned? Uh, we'll say the purple one. Alright, well, I'm gonna come up here and... Only oh, because I really want to use it. Uh, I'm gonna use Frostbite on the purple one, so it has to roll a constitution save versus 16. That is a 14 and it has a plus zero, so it's a fail. Yes. Alright. Nice. It takes nine a rib. frost damage. <laughs> See that? Nine frost damage. Purple is dead. Oh, fucking hell yeah. Fucking A. Nice. The other ones literally can't be by me for a minute, so we can take our time with this. Yeah, once it's, once it's their turn, they have to... They Right, this is huge. Uh, Chombo, you're up. So, <laughs> I have a rib in my mouth. So if we attack them, that's bad, right? No, no, no. We, we attack now, one they're... at a time. Okay. If it takes damage, it it's, it's unturned. All right. I'm going to shillelagh my ass, and then I'm going to dual wield a powerful combination attack. Yeah. Towards the burnt umber one. Okay. All right, which means <laughs> it's like can rib me. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, Where are the ribs from? Uh, my uncle made them. Nice. Uh, 
Okay, so I'm going to hit DC, roll this bad boy. That's a 21 for the Blood Spear thing. Oh! De definitely then hit. My, then my unarmed strike. Roll damage for the Blood Spear first. Okay. The, roll, the unarmed strike was 13. No, but there's the, also the, a shillelagh. Yeah, you're not rolling with the unarmed strike. Wait, what is that third one? <laughs> what did he hit I don't me know, with man. that I got, third I'm time? All, <laughs> I'm all slippery because I, I can't use my hand. Yeah. Uh, okay. The 13 hits. Blood Spear. Blood spear rolled. That's a four. Very good. Okay. Uh, All right, and, and then, then the other damage for the other one, because that one hits as well. That's the unarmed strike that I roll there. That'll be the Correct. shillelagh. That would no, be the no, shillelagh, no. actually, because you're dual wielding. So you have your you have okay. a blood spear in one hand and the quarter staff in the other. So I'm going to roll... That's a big seven right there. Uh, well, you rolled the thirteen to hit it. Oh, so seven is the damage. Got it. Yeah. Uh, which one That's were right. you? Which one were you fighting? The orange one. Burnt, burnt umber. umber. Got it. Uh, that one is dead. Fuck yeah. yes. Yeah, and I'm as it goes oh. out, I give it a little kiss. I have some uh, bad okay. news on my next turn to tell everyone. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, after Chombo is... Goes the beast! Yes, correct. The beast is going to attack this this green character here because the orange one is dead. Ow. Sorry, I How killed does... the wrong one. There you go. How does the beast attack? Let's see. You would have to have the beast's stat block. Yeah, just look up uh, Wolverine 5e. I tried to find Wolverine. I think it's a badger, actually. Oh, no, I got it. It's a. Uh, it's gonna be one d4, probably plus one. Would be my guess. Fight yeah, melee weapon attack plus two to hit. Plus two to hit. So no, nah, no, nah, this isn't right. Two. This isn't right. This isn't right. Sorry. Here, it's small beast. It's right here. Uh, armor there class hit points twenty or thirty. Late land. Speed. Uh, languages doesn't speak languages except for the ones I know. Oh. It has advantage on an attack roll against a creature if at least one of the beast's allies is within five feet of the creature. Yeah. So it's got that. Uh, fuck, I don't know how to calculate the damage. Just roll a d20 and see, okay. see what the... See if it hits. Rolling a d20. Here it is, bestial spirit. Nice. That's a two. Never mind. <laughs> Doesn't hit. We don't have to worry about uh, it at all. The beast that, brings up, that brings up clunch. Oh, yeah, this can do all kinds of shit. Multi-attack. Hang on. The beast makes a number of attacks equal to half this spell's level rounded down. Half oh, the so spell's one, level. Yeah, what, what level, level did, did you cast to that? One. No, two. So it makes one. Attack. But, yeah. yeah. Mall. So it was plus... Uh, it was... Uh, I see it. Bestial Spirit is the name of the creature. Okay. Um, okay. Clunge is up. Yep. Uh, great. I will cast... Um, let's see if that... Like it is, because I have protection from good and evil up. Um, okay, I am going to attack the orange one. Okay. Um, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, if these are undead, some shit's about to happen. <laughs> the orange one's dead, right? No, uh, I, I moved one. the I moved the orange one to the other. Killed the okay. red one instead of the orange. All right. um, just making sure what the rules are here. Sentient weapon communicates some sort of special purpose. Come on, give me how it fucking works.
Um, okay, I attack that guy. I, I smash that guy. Okay. 12, does that hit? Uh, that's the armor class. Great. Um, is it undead? It is. Okay, it was so... turned, remember? That's that right. Torch? What is that? No. Okay, I was like, what is that noise? It's just the sound of snow being destroyed. What does it say? It does an additional... I can't find it. Ten versatile, one d8 plus four, and then an additional d8 plus undead, I guess. So two d8 plus four. So that's uh, twelve damage. Dead. Great. So that one's dead. Um, he moves on this pink one, uh, and attacks again. Go ahead. Oh, you fucking asshole. Um, that is 10 to hit, but maybe I have something that can help. You had Bless, didn't you bless everyone? No, nobody, but nobody's been blessed, actually. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not that type um, of cleric no more. <laughs> um, okay, um, yeah, that's, that's it. I miss, I guess, with 10. Okay, yes, that's a miss. I vanquished the rib. <laughs> okay. So, um, these creatures right here, it is their turn. Over the edge, over the edge. Here. Oh, that's right, fuck. <laughs> okay, so they have to use sure their turn. Uh, they do have to move away. They can float slash fly though, so they do not go over the edge, although right. they do have to move far away from Roger. That would have been really cool, Pigman. I know, right? Well. Would you play that you play that chance with ghost either you push him over the edge and they die again or they just float back here it was still so, cool to me. that's 30 feet there still cool to me it's damn it <laughs> here. okay so this one's got to move here this one's got to move here and that one has to move there that is their turn and they can't attack you which just fucking pisses me off so um that is Joe Jack's turn. I am the master of Ella or of trigger battle. Yeah, I mean you made him leave. That's, that's <laughs> very good. Well, I guess good. I'm gonna I guess I'm gonna try to acid blast that pink one. Sure, go ahead. Uh, it has to do a dex save of 13. Uh, it's a natural 18. Okay, oh. well, my Does spray it... doesn't hit it. Does it take half damage, or it just doesn't hit it at all? It just misses. Especially okay. in this case, to where it's just gonna hit the ground. Sure. Uh, that's Wiki. Alright, let's, uh, Eldritch Blast Blue Boy. Okay. Uh, for a 19 to hit. Definitely hits. Uh, 12 damage. Blue Boy is dead. Yeah. Okay, and so these then... things were pretty weak overall. Well, you, you hit him with that. So, with that. Yeah, turn on dead's taming him. On that, too. Uh, 23 to hit the green guy. Jesus. He hits. 15 damage. Dead as well. And uh, I'm just going to take a seat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that brings up Chombo. Combo's not a master of ranged combat. Uh, yeah, I don't. I can't even hit him with Earth Tremor. Try to throw a random item in your in your. Oh, I can ship. throw my fucking blood spear, dude. No, yeah, don't throw you your throw blood it spear. over the edge and you miss, oh, yeah, then you sure, don't sure. have it anymore. <laughs> That's true. What do you mean? It doesn't well, come back. It doesn't come back to you. Oh, this but can I go get it? Five hundred. Yeah. It's a five hundred and forty foot cliff. Oh. Mm. I say throw like something else. I have a tree. Oh, I got no. I gave the tree junk away. Remove. Where's those ball bearings? Remember all those ball bearings I was bragging about? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, throw one of those. You can whip yeah. a ball bearing at it. <laughs> <laughs> you guys all made fun of the ball bearings, weirdly, and here we are. Weirdly, Philly thing to do. I was all right, say, I'm gonna whip. I'm gonna whip a battery. Any kind. 
yeah. I, I, I will say that uh, I offered for anyone to take the. You did a, a number of times. You did. I, I guess I still have the crossbow. If anyone wants it next time, now you have to fire it. Can I throw the Wolverine at it? <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's D and D. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> I'm throwing the Wolverine at it. Chuck it. Okay. <laughs> All right. How do I make do a, that? Make a strength roll and then an attack. Strength roll, baby. Shaman wants to do the strength roll, and then if the if the badger gets out there, then it would make the attack roll. Yes. It's a five. Yeah, no, oh. you just threw your badger over a 540 foot. No! Oh, oh. <laughs> Bert, hilarious, no matter what. Uh, and that brings up Clunge. Clunge runs to the edge and sees this, uh, this badger plummet. <laughs> Watches it all the way down. Um... All right, I have a plan. When it's my turn, I'm just going to step back a little bit so it can come within 30 feet. That will bring it right to the edge. Yeah, I don't have anything that can really... I don't even have... Well, I'm I'm right next to Plunge. Can I offer up my boomerang? No, I'm just going to skip... I'm just going to skip my turn, and uh, I'm going to wait for Wiki's turn, and Wiki's going to snipe this fool. Okay. Um, I want to make sure I understand the way this works real quick. This is the way. Where is your? Where is the thing that you did turn undead? Oh, it's, it's your. I see. It's an action. Yeah. It's yeah. Channel it's your channel declare thing. And I guess as I do it, for its action, it can only use the dash to try to escape from the effect. There's nowhere to move. Okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, it. Th- this thing still can't come in within uh, 30 feet of you. Um, yeah, no and it's turned for one minute or until it takes damage. So it's it, it can only stay far away from you. It can't do anything. So no it, is, it is just floating out there, and that brings up Jojack. All right. I move over to the edge so it can be... Within 30 feet. Can you Kay. blast it? I'm working on it. Give me a second. So I move back to allow this to happen. And then I'm going to cast uh, Acid Spray as a cantrip again. Okay. Acid Splash. What's the range on Acid Splash? 60 feet. Uh, what's it have to make? 13 uh, deck saving throw. It's are a, it's we a... in the way of that, though? It's, it's a three. No, yes. you're fine. He's throwing it over. Okay. Watch it. Yeah, I throw it. Oh, it doesn't matter. Six damage. Oh, by the way, I can't heal Chombo. He's a construct. Cure Wounds doesn't work on constructs. Uh, oh, weird. Uh, so, I'm not sure. We'll look that up later. I, um, I did. Uh, and it's acid, it says? Yeah, acid damage because Necrotic don't points- hurt it. How many points of damage was it? Six. Okay, so it takes three points of acid. Hey, but it took damage. Resistant to acid. Yes, it is. Okay, um, and then that will be Wiki. Time to use the boomerang. (laughs) Come on. (laughs) Fifteen to hit. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that hits. (laughs) Two damage. You have two Eldritch Blasts! God damn uh, it! Uh, yeah, okay. Two damage. <laughs> but imagine if the boomerang killed it. That would have been. <laughs> um, that... Uh, Chombo. God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna whip a ball bearing at it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a five, I'm gonna throw a handful of ball bearings at it. Sure. Roll a d20. Okay. It's a natural one. So <laughs> you also throw your ball bearings slip. over the edge. I thought it'd be better if I slip and I fall on them, but 
No, know, yeah, just, natural one like for a handful of ball bearings. Okay. You Plunge your ear up. You accidentally Are we should do a pouch as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I reach uh, into my pouch and there's a spider in there and it bit me. Clutches <laughs> up. Um, there's nothing that I can do. Uh, I be I begin casting now. Uh, there's nothing that I can do. Okay. I cast. I I will hold. My attack, if this thing gets it within attacking range, I'm gonna go ape shit on it. Um, Kill it, yeah. I have to leave. It's, it's yeah, I know, it's 7.30, yeah. Um, it, it can't do anything except stay away from Roger, so I, no, I mean, No, I did will... damage to it. Oh, perfect. Uh, then it is going to come in here, uh, and it has 50 feet of movement, so it's just gonna go here to Chombo. I, I beat uh, the shit out of it the second it's in range. That was my held action. Oh, nice. fuck, you're right. If it comes oh, within yeah. range of you, then... Yeah. Um, oh, I actually don't think it can even be there because that's within... Oh, no, you did damage. Okay, uh, yeah, go ahead. Um, roll your uh, right. roll your attack. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Wango! 13 to hit. Uh, that hits. Oh, I'm okay. rolling like shit, though. 12 damage plus... Come on, that's crazy. That's it. 8 damage. You have killed the final snow maiden. Right. Oh, right. right. She is dead. Uh, and I know we're running super late right now, so uh, I think we will... It was worth it. You guys, cut it. Yeah, if you guys gotta go, I think let's cut it here. Bye, we will uh, start next week with uh, them finding the treasure. All right. right. Treasure Bye, everybody. of the tower. Uh, great work, everybody. Oh, damn, I damn, just peace. He peace <laughs> out. I wish, like, it, I, I, wish it, I wish it had been the boomerang night. We're going to Joe after work. We're raiding him. Thanks for being Nate, here. That, Thanks for the follow. I'm sure it was close. That fire, <laughs> that first fire, all you had to do was do that a second time, and he probably would have taken out the whole fucking oh, yeah. crew. I was kind of yeah, hoping I, something I, like that. I only had the one time I could do it. So. Oh, okay. Hey, man. All right, kids.